older cousin. I had this older cousins and we were hanging out with them. And, uh, and then one of their friends was older. So I mean, these guys were like, I was like 10. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, seriously, I was like 10. Holy shit. And, and that I, might be a record. I don't think I've heard anybody yeah, say 10. 10 and, and these guys were like, you know, like 18 and 16. Oh, right? They're like, let's, let's, let's get this little kid on. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, how did that even? And I'm like, I kept telling him, like, just blow it in my face. Blow it in my face. Come on. And so they, then, they, he, then one of the cousins was like, dude, just fucking hit it. Just, what are you doing, you know? Especially with the flavor, the Terps, that's mm. what we're on about here. <coughs> that's what we're chasing here at Pine Park. And at Pine Park After Dark, we're on episode 55 specifically. I'm your host, Eric Conn. We got Tim on the other side of the what table up? in the middle. A very, very, very special guest tuning in from California Seed Bank. Thank you so much for joining us, my friend. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Dude, let's Glad fucking to be go. here. <coughs> very stoked. Yeah, you brought in a lot of uh, awesome things. Just, I got to say thank you just on camera because... I got a gift and it was probably, I'm saying it's the coolest gift that I've ever gotten on the show. I mean, no disrespect to anybody who's given me a gift, but I got a gift box of genetics mm. seeds, not just any seeds, man. You've created a bunch of strains. Um, what, what and when and how, what, how did I get this box? Like what strains did you decide to throw in there? Was there like a thought process behind it? Did you just like start throwing random bags in there? <laughs> well, cause like there um, were some, there were some crazy strains in there. You know, um, I'll tell you, first of all, my, I, I told my other half, you know, my wife, uh, Carrie, shout out, um, uh, <laughs> love you. Um, uh, I told her that we were, you know, coming on the show tomorrow and I wanted to get, you know, some boxes, three boxes together for you guys. And, uh, it's amazing. And so she, you know, we have favorite strains, but then we have like, you know, like the gamer's juice and there's like other things that are just, they're kind of not just your standard, you know, seed strain that everybody's trying to go for. Like, um, just really try to mix it up, you know? Yeah. There's some special stuff in there. You said gamer juice. And that was honestly <laughs> one that caught my eye. Cause I'd be playing games, bro. That's it. I'd be, so, I'd be gaming. So we got Big a, gamer. a really Jeez. great super lemon haze cross, you know, oh. I mean, a, a straight, uh, um, a pheno of super lemon haze. Uh, shout out to Country Boy. And, super uh, lemon haze. That's, that's a strain that I definitely, it's like a very a recognizable terpene profile. Yeah. Like with the super lemon haze that you, well, you, you open that bag or that jar, you're like, oh, I know what that is. That's kinda, haze. I think you were talking about like the Jack, Jack oh, earlier. The Jack yeah, 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 yeah. You the know, Jack Terps really are that, that, that like train wrecky really Jack Terps. Jack Terp. Like I, I love that stuff. Yeah. And like I'm saying, why I think this is the best gift is, is because this is potentially like, this could be a whole new brand. This could be a comp. This could, who knows what this is. This could be right. someone changes someone's whole life because yeah. this is right. like unlimited weed right here. So I get <laughs> like that. literally this is unlimited <laughs> weed. I get that a lot. Like from it's crazy. You know, companies that'll buy our stuff and they'll, they'll hit me up and they'll say, Hey man, your, your, your strains are keeping us alive. Your strains yes. are keeping us above water. Yeah. Paying your, paying their bills yeah. because, yes. because they found some heat. That's able to be named as the exotic type stuff. Right. Because nowadays people, if it's not like the best of the best, like people don't really want to smoke it. They're like, I'm right. Know, what is that? I don't want that. Right. And I mean, and we kind of, kind of focus on, well, we, it's not that we focus on high numbers, but because we focus on quality and this really quality potency and the flavors that we like, uh -huh. it ends up being very high potency. So it'll be, a lot of our strains are over 30%. You know, okay. we even have some, I mean, people say things about testing, but some are 40, okay. I, you know, we have a 40 percenter. So. Okay. Yeah. See, like, like I, I'm, I'm one of the people that I'm like, mm, THC percentages, what are we going on here? But I understand that THC plays a role. It yeah. definitely plays a role. <laughs> um, what I'd be interesting to see is like, like, do you guys do like terpene testing? Yes. Cause you guys kind of probably yes. have some crazy, cause I was smelling some of the so, stuff before we started the show, man. And I mean. So this, Let's, it was gas. So the terpene profile, yeah. it, it, it's gotta be high, right? Yeah. So like this, this, uh, apricot lemonade was, a yeah, was like, a, shit. was the first, was the first, Bruh. this is by SoCal Dank, by the way, Bruh. a local, local favorite. Fire. Um, Absolutely fire. That was our first is like into, oh, hell? into. What is that? I don't know. So when I was working with. Well, with yeah, a, burnt my, something. It's fucking my bad. Nom, nom, no, nom, that's nom. okay. You're good, man. <laughs> Go for it. Loud. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. Damn, that's insane. Yeah, Thank that's you. like, I want that. Apricot. I right. want that. Apricot. 
And that's what, you know, dude, I'm a smoker. I want to hear that. I want to see, I want people stoked. Yeah. Know? I mean, I want like, this is different, but when this was the first Terp line that I made, uh, when you say Terp line, what do you mean by that? So when I was working, I was working with skunk house for years. And so we, all we did was gas. Okay. All we did was OG strains. So it was, yeah. you know, and so, Fuck yeah. but people wanted these Terps and they wanted Terps that what I was seeing were kind of flat. And okay. didn't get you very stoned, but they had a lot of flavor, whether it was Skittles or whatever. Okay. They were just very, very terpy. Well, I want to get stoned. Yeah. I want to get super high. And that's why you guys would do the gas. So that's why we did gas. So Got then it. I was like, you know what? I want to do a terp line, but that gets you really, really high. Okay. So, so flavorful so, stuff that's kind of like fruity, sweet, but like, yo, you better <clears> get fucked up. You're going to get high. Like if, so when you're ready to smoke this. You know, oh, are you oh, ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, it, it, are you ready, sir? I'm always ready. Gabba. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Use the, use the full nice, puff. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, <laughs> Do we not have a nail so, for that rig right there? I guess not. We got to get, oh, we got to get the 14 for this oh, one. Yeah. Oh, that's what we're missing last okay. time. Oh, well, look at that thing. Two we need to write that row. down in a note. Dude, what is that? It's a Peter Mueller. That oh my gosh. Sick. Yeah. It's a little, it's a doll. Dude, that is so epic. Is that with the alien in there? It's got a little alien baby in there. Almost. It look, I don't know. It's just the diffuser. It could be anything. No, that's an alien, alien, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. actually an alien. <laughs> <laughs> right? It, it's it like, looks like it, yeah. It's it, got like, the two little eyes. Remember the one that like comes out of the stomach right, from the movie? Right, right. Yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> that's what it looks <laughs> like. <laughs> that's, that's, I do not need that at all. No shot. No so shot. So for those unfamiliar, Brett, uh, when you say like um, you were mentioning like what you did with certain people, what right. is it that you do? If someone's just Ooh. watching and they said... You know, someone asked like, Brad, what do you do? So, um, I'm a, I'm a breeder. Um, I've been making seeds, uh, for a long time now. Um, I, it's been a kind of a dream and passion of mine, uh, California seed bank itself. Um, I've been like making seeds under the California seed bank label since like 2007, 2006. Oh shit. And, uh, okay. nice. so I was always making seeds and just putting the little label on them and I would just give them to people. Okay. Because I just wanted people to grow good seeds. Nice. Mm. And so my wife, she came down with Crohn's disease in about 2003. Okay. Uh, we found out that we had to, that she needed a ton of cannabis really to make her feel better. Okay. And it was an, an astronomical amount, truly, like to make the, the, the milk that I was telling you about. Yes. And mm. to also for smoking and then we'd make hash or whatever we could to help her through the, and find some relief. Was that something find you found out accidentally? Like they prescribed you all these things to do and then you <sighs> found out that weed was better or was it? 100%. Mm -hmm. Great question. 100%. Um, they had my wife on. So I, I smoked weed. I sold weed. We grew a little weed. Um, and when she came down with the Crohn's disease, uh, it was, they put her on, put her on all these medication, okay. you know, and they wanted to do all these surgeries and all these medications and, and they had her on over 30 pills a day Gosh. and nothing, and nothing was helping to no avail. So on 30 pills and still having the same, right. Yeah, same issue. Literally. Like yeah. it was, mm -hmm. if not making it worse, I thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Truly, you know, and then, and then they have her on pain medication and, and, you know, uh, muscle relaxers and Valium or, you know, all these things just, it's just like you're living, living underwater. Yeah. You're just zombified. So then I, I just knew I'm like this, you know, we, I worked for a underground growing family growing up. Okay. And, uh, we always gave, we always donated weed to cancer patients. Any of our friends Amazing. or family that, mm. that got sick, we <clears throat> gave, they came to us, we gave them herb. Amazing. And so I was like, you know, her symptoms are like cancer patient. Like this is what I've seen before. You know, she's wasting oh. away. She can't eat. She's nauseous. Get a little epiphany. You're like, wait a second. So I started giving her weed. And, and at that time we had the, the OG Kush. This was, okay. you know, early 2000s and um, it was like 2003. And so the OG Kush was the only strain that really made her feel better. She could smoke it and she'd be like, oh, I feel better. I had all nice. kinds of weed. But that was the but one. That one made her feel better. Man. So that's amazing. It was like immediate too. Like it was immediately. Like, wow, yeah. How awesome. insane is that? Like right. the instant relief mm -hmm. where you've just been struggling and struggling right. yeah, that's and awesome. struggling. To, that, that probably felt so, that, that relief is just insane to even think about. It, like it, it was. How overwhelming. We were, you know, I'm, I'm trying to find anything. Really, yeah. truly. And 30 then, prescriptions, not helping. Mm -hmm. One thing helps. And so I went to, I actually went to, uh, the head of my family okay. that I worked for. And 
of the grow the little of the grow family. family. Okay. Yeah, the little okay. grow little. The, it was it was a yeah. funny little cosm, you know. Um, but there was the boss, and I went to the boss and I said, "Hey, uh, I said I'm not asking you for this OG, but you should give it to me." <laughs> Like the cut? Yeah. Oh, so you can cultivate it for your yeah. wife. Oh. I said, because he knew, he knew me, you yeah. know, he knew I wasn't, he, I was a uh, honest person in the family. So okay. if they needed someone to do something like go into a home of somebody that owned something, they could give me the keys. I would go take care of it. Got it. I would, I was a trusted member. Got it. So I said, Respect. look, I said, <laughs> so <laughs> truly, you know, so, um, I, I, I told him, I said, Hey man, you know, I said, you shouldn't, I'm not asking you for it but you should give it to me. Fuck. You know, you know what I've done for you. You know, what I've done for this family. And, and so he did. He, so like some mafia movie type shit. Bro, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm hey, not even joking. Him hey, and his, we need to have a, we need to have a sit down right now. You know, I need to talk to you. <laughs> it was so funny. Him and his porn star girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, it's totally yeah, a fucking <laughs> story. God, bro. We're in a movie right now. I'm pulled, telling you. Pulled up in, a, in, pulled up to the front of my house, you know, in, in his, you know, his badass car, you know, and his yeah. big old titty girlfriend come out and, <laughs> and uh, and I come in the house and he brings me two of the deadest looking clones. He's like, dude, I'm not joking. What could I do for you? <laughs> he gives me these clones and they were like orange roots. Like, like they were like on the edge of dying. Like what's happening? <laughs> and he gave them to me and I know what he did. He was like, if he can make these live. He deserves it. He deserves it. Then you nice. can grow it. And I was like, okay. So I, I'm not, I'm not, in, you know, this big God guy. I'm not going to start preaching Jesus or anything, but I got on please, my knees please and live. prayed to God. <laughs> please Lord, let, these, let, let live. these live so I can take care of my wife. That was Fuck. the prayer. Oh, that's and intense. One died and one lived. Nice. You only needed one. And that was the, that's what the respect OG. You only needed that's one. Awesome. Yeah. And you'd already been cultivating at this point for that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't like too tall of a task. Like this is my first plan. Oh my God. God. No, no. Yeah, I'm like, I'm so gonna, much pressure. Yeah. That plan was no. dead if it was your first plan for No, sure. I was going to murder that. And that was it because I already, I worked for this family. We used to do clandestine grows all over the place. Yeah. You nice. So nice. What year was, um. If you remember what year, this is the 80s, 90s, well, 1000s. No, that, this, that actual happened in 2003. Oh, okay. 2003? Yeah. Nice, early 2000s. Yeah. Okay, so 2003. Yeah. Damn, two decades ago though. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Crazy. So it was yeah. like a real porn star, not like these fake news stars. <laughs> no, 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 definitely, definitely star. a real one. I could give you her name. Real. Definitely oh, a real there's, one. There's, there's the films. Yeah, 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 yeah. Text me those after the show, you know what I'm saying? Everyone's a porn star nowadays. Research stars. Those are some real ones. But yeah, that was. That's fucking funny. Yeah, that was, but they were, it was an old, you know, they all worked for an old radio station, the old, like an old, uh, like KNAC was mm -hmm. an old, like uh, hard rock, hard rock, Long Beach, you know, thing. They were all rock stars, you know? Love that. But the coolest thing about that family was nobody did drugs. It was just weed. They were family men. You know, like my boss, the dude was like a, would go pick up his kid every day. From, Love it. You know, drop his kid off at school and pick his kid up every day at school. It. But we were doing gangster shit all day long. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah having mafia meetings. What's up? <laughs> Fucking love that. So nah. from that moment, did your wife just put down all the other drugs? Like, yes. Or, not, or the prescriptions and yes. stuff? Nice. That's awesome. Well, well, I got the herb and then I started actually making a concoction. So I started making oh. a, a cannabis milk. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So we, okay. We were talking about this a little yeah. bit. I need, can we just tell the audience? Yeah. Like, what you got? Like this, this is awesome. Cannabis milk kind of threw me for something. I was like, what the hell? Is <laughs> yeah. Going yeah, for sure. Um, it was, I, I figured out that there was um, endocannabinoid receptors in the gut line, right? <laughs> that rebuild the gut line and ulcerative colitis and Crohn's are ulcers in the, in the gut line. Okay, so damaging it. So damaging it. Yeah. So what cannabis does is helps rebuild the gut line. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's get cannabinoids into the gut line, right? Seems seems logical, right? right? Yeah. So the, I mean, other than an edible, which you're cooking down, all this other stuff, I figured, you know, a mother's milk, right? The closest thing to mother's milk okay. is goat's milk. So and that I, is that like uh, just based on like the chemical makeup of it? Or? Yes. Okay. Mm. So... I didn't. I found. It's kind of interesting. I found like an ancient, literally an ancient recipe. Whoa. Like this was like they oh, took goat's shit. milk and a rock <coughs> and took the weed and hit the rock with the goat's milk and made bang lassie. That's truly what like bang. Wow. Yeah. Wait, what? Was That's this crazy. like? Where, this, would you stumble? I, I, I don't know. Was it like taught to you? Or no, like, I don't yeah, know. How'd you find? Yeah. I don't know like, where, where the fuck I would was this. It was so funny. <laughs> what form? And, and on I the still don't know where I found it. But but that was the thing. You had to search like alternate. You know, like you had to go through like Alta Vista. Yeah, it's, a, it's an early search internet too. In, oh, this yeah. was on the forums for sure. But <laughs> yeah. this oh, was yeah. some early internet. But this shit. was like some weird, you know, book thing. Like it was a little like transcript writing oh, thing. Was that it I, a book with a picture? It was like, you know, you saw the guy oh. hitting the rock. I mean, oh, I swear it was like that. Shit. It was like that's legit. You know, Whoa. and I'm like, okay, well, let's let's 
let's that's make this so crazy. Let's do this faster, right? Let's let's how do we bring this up to speed? Yeah. To, so how did to, you do it? If you're allowed, uh, are you allowed to say that, or is, I, that, I mean, is this like I a proprietary so, but, thing? I mean, I don't know, right? I don't I want to give out the juice. You yeah, know? I guess. Yeah. So yeah, I came up with a, a specific there's a, there's way, a way to do, to do it. it. Yeah. Did you? Is it with flour? Yes. Okay. And but hash so, and too. Oh, and hash. Too. Whatever you can do. Okay. So, so I mean, whatever you have. Well, I mean, but if it needs flour, <laughs> okay, you have not to have trim, flour. but like flour, not trim. Okay. Flour. Okay. Um. So that's where I was using all of my. I would literally take the like the prettiest. OG Kush buds that I grew for like 80 no. days and put them in like this, like, you know, put like $4,000 worth but of you're, weed. But you're, it's, it's, who cares what the cost is? And that's really what, yeah, really what it came and down to. Who cares what it costs? That's really what it came down to. And that's why you to. got the clone because you're not worried about the. Right. I never sold it. I wasn't selling it. I'm trying to save my that's wife. That's it. How much milk would you get? So, um, I would make, I would make about a gallon at a time. Oh, okay. About, of, a, about a quarter pound to a half pound of weed. Whoa. Yeah, I'm kind of tripping on it, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. How right. long is it? Is it last uh, like longer? Or? It lasts about a week. Okay. Oh man! So she was she was consuming a lot her, of it. Her, her, good amount of her potency was next level. Like yeah, her, well, you her need, tolerance it's, it's what you needed to though for the body yeah, to yeah. repair it. So and no, right? I think that's a lot of medical patients, right? That's like why the limit is like kind of unlimited. Like they need. Well, it's just like, like your body. It's either like it, it's gonna fail or it's gonna succeed, and you gotta give it everything you can win. Is is totally right? It what happens is. People that are in pain uh-huh. and the same with pain medication as well. Um, but with, with cannabis, like she could take like, so the first time that I really gave it to her and this was like the, the trial, you know, like um, I, I like bought an ounce of weed. Like we didn't have any money. I was a full-time nurse her full-time nurse. I'd quit my job as a real estate appraiser. Uh-huh. Um, and so we didn't have any money. We were like working on donations. Yeah. And so someone gave me, or I, someone donated money. I took the money, went and bought a $300 ounce of weed. Yeah. And mm-hmm. fucking put it in like a quart of milk. And you were like, am I an idiot? What's am happening? I an idiot? <laughs> right. And I sat there and I just, <laughs> fuck. Like, I swear to God, dude. No, I, I, <laughs> stirred, I stirred it. Stirring I stirred it. I'm living sure in this moment right now. Like, like did I just waste our family's $300? Right. Seriously. And like, we do not have $300 right. to fucking waste I swear right to God, now. bro. Like, I, I feel your stress. I understand. Yeah. I sat there for three hours and stirred that to make sure that it didn't overcook. Yeah, it didn't did. anything. Everything was perfect, right? Yeah. And then I made her a cup of hot cocoa with it. And she was go, just going into a, um, uh, a, a, a bout, you know, okay. she was going in, uh, uh, I can't remember what they're called. No. Um, and, um, something not good was happening about that. She happen. was going into, yeah, a, 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 like a regression, I guess, whatever okay. it is. Okay. And so, um, what that, what that entails, it's like, she goes to the bathroom every 15 minutes for six months. In, dur- in one of these spells? Six months. Okay. Going 15, 15 minutes. I'm just so like watching her die. I'm just literally your body is wasting, wasting away. Like I, I did not believe in marriage. I married her because I didn't like, she was a Catholic lady and she, she had a Catholic family and it was so important to her. And I, I thought for sure she was not going to make it. Yeah. So I married her so that she wouldn't go without being married. Yeah. So we got married. That's how, that's That's how, that's how bad it was. was. That's how bad it was. Mm. Like on on the door, on the door, on the fucking 100%. I mean, I would, yeah, I don't even even want to tell you any more than that. That's, it was bad. But now you're, you're, you have the medicine. So I gave the, I was like, so I, she's, so she was upstairs playing world of Warcraft because that's, (laughs) that's what, that's what would take her pain away. She could get her brain into the game. I love, I love that she had an escape like that. That's that's, shout out to games. She was a rogue. (laughs) She was a rogue. So she's a really, she was merciless. She was awesome. I absolutely <laughs> love that part of the story. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love that part. And so I went and took her this cup and I took her a full cup. You know, it was a cup of hot cocoa just yeah. like that. And I put the little uh, cacao in there and I put some honey in there and she, she drank it. And I watched her I, and I, I went away Yeah. and I came back in the room and she went from being like this to sitting up straight, sitting up straight. Like I'm great. And you were like, what the fuck I, just happened? And I'm like, oh my God, like I need to get as much of this shit in her as like, possible. I need weed now. This nice. is it. And was so, that quick? Was that like 30 minutes or an hour? It was like really fast. Like 10 minutes, dude. Wow. No way. That's even, so beautiful. 10 awesome. minutes. Yeah. I love weed, Dying. dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Weed's crazy. It's, it doesn't fix everything in any, and, and, and everybody, but fuck, dude. I've, I've heard countless stories where similar things like this, where cannabis has really changed people's lives, be it epilepsy or now with Crohn's, I've, it's fucking awesome. Right. It, that's, right. that's Ep- epilepsy, all these things. 10 so minutes. That's, so then I figured this stuff out and I was like, no one's telling anybody this stuff. Nobody's telling Does anybody this. know? No. Mm-hmm. I mean, at this point, no one knew nothing. Like, like you were like, you fucking just discovered some shit that like and went no, away. And like no, the, 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 the education. No one's helping somewhere. anyone. Right. Straight up. No one's like, helping. Like we're, I'm online every day. 
irritable bowel disease, blah, 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 da, 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 Take this pill. All this stuff. Take this pill. There's no answers. No. And, but, then I, but then I went to, Man. you know, long story short, I went to a, a doctor okay. who was um, to get our recommendations. And this was uh, Dr. Denny and Dr. Sullivan. Okay. These guys were like the pariah, pariah of, of medical um, transparency. Okay. So they were so good in their, in their practice through the 50 years that they were practicing yep. that they said, we can go and write these prescriptions and no one can scrutinize us because we're so fucking good. Cause we've been so good our whole wow. existence. So like, like Dr. Sullivan, I believe yeah, Dr. Sullivan was an ER at USC, an ER, like the head ER doctor at USC for like 25 years. Like couldn't get any more respect. No one's questioning his shit. No one's questioning his like, shit. If he wants to pres- prescribe cannabis, he going to prescribe mm-hmm. cannabis. Seriously. So I was, shit. I was at his, at his office and they had a periodical that they put out. It was called O'Shaughnessy's. Okay. And so they had, um, I, 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 it, on the front of it said how cannabis, uh, even smoking heavy long-term use does not cause cancer lung and upper wear. Uh, it does not. Wears. Does not. Okay. It was a UCLA study. I was like, okay, I'm going to take this home. You're like, fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to read it when I get home. So I got home, I'm sitting on the couch, got, got carry her prescription, a recommendation. I got my, my, my own recommendation and we go home and I'm sitting on the couch and Carrie was in the kitchen and I'm reading this thing and it's talking about how it's, it even has protective effect. So us smoking weed, good uh-huh. weed, not this bullshit that's out there yeah. now, <laughs> uh, like you're talking about. <laughs> um, has protective effect on your lungs. So someone who doesn't smoke weed has less, there's more chance of getting cancer than you do. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that statement. So, I'm not a scientist, but I would say yes, just off of, <laughs> just like personal experience with people that consume cannabis when they do have cancer, it, it helps them. 100%. So like, yeah, that Why, makes sense. That logically makes, makes sense. Right. Like I put one and one together. So I, I had... I'm, I'm sitting on the couch. I was like, babe, I'm like, this can't be bad for us. Like nah. all this, I've been smoking weed and selling weed and growing weed since the eighties. <laughs> and I thought I was just a criminal and I was just doing things wrong and it was bad for me. And I was like, I'm just a gangster. I'm just, oh, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> no, but that's what it turned you into. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, surfing gangster, whatever. So, um, but you know, and so I'm like, I'm like, it can't be bad for us. So I turn the page and here's a, a four page article with bars and graphs and pictures and everything. Cannabis alleviates Crohn's symptoms. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, there was a, there was a UC, on the UCLA study? In this, no, in the next, oh, in the on the next page, it was another study. What the uh, fuck? It's Donald, Do- Do- and that obviously Don- Dr. No one Donald told Taskin. About. Of course. Yeah. Got, swept, find on, that got swept under the rug. Oh, it quick. talks mm. about how it rebuilds the gut line. The whole thing is in there. Mm. Everything that you. And then I, then I'm like, we're making, we have to figure out wow. how to get the cannabinoids in that stomach. And that's the whole, that was the whole thing. And right is, there. is, do you guys like still, is the milk like still yeah, like a regular ever evolve part of from life? Yes. Like, or do you guys just like consume it regularly now? Yes. Nice. Really? Yes. And Even we have like, a couple like, other things and we have a new product that we'll be putting out. Uh, oh, pretty soon. That's, that's awesome. That's in like, in like, we'll be able to be tangible. Really? Like, not, not necessarily milk, but something that's right. Okay. It's really cool. That's exciting. Uh, and it's yeah. absolutely potent as fuck. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do it with this whole, the, the microgram or I mean the, whatever they're, oh, or I bullshit guess bullshit fucking you know? what um, they're like the 10 milligram. Or yeah. Whatever. I yeah. mean, cause mine's like, like, like a flake would be like 10 milligrams. <laughs> it's really potent. I think, I don't know what it is. Like the tinctures, those are allowed to be like a lot. So maybe right? I'll call like, it, maybe I'll just call it a tincture. I think, I think Ooh, the tinctures is, tincture. is, it's a separate, yeah. it's a separate <laughs> like dosing. Okay. I don't know the exact thing, but I know it's like, Tinctures, I've seen them like super high, yeah, hundreds and hundreds of milligrams in mm-hmm. the dispensaries. I'm like, what the fuck is that? That's, oh, that's an edible. Yeah. Like, isn't it supposed to be a hundred? And like, right. no, it's, it's, it's tincture. It's not its own thing. True, true. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. But so man. It's, so it's always been milk. Did you ever try any other like medium and she just didn't like it? Or was it always like, this is? Nothing. So that like, so that stopped her. So that night that she had that, it stopped her from going to the bathroom. Stopped. Huh. She got from that day, a full night's done. sleep. Like the first time she got a full night's sleep in like three years. Damn. And so like, we were like, like it, so it just changed it. And then she just got better and better and better all the way until like it stopped their bleeding. It stopped all the stuff, everything. But if we stopped having the milk for a week, bleeding would come back. No way. Yeah. Mm. It was Whoa. that, it was that apparent. It was that apparent. Whoa. Mm. Yeah. And do you think that, that using, like he said, like using the medium of the milk, it, it is providing some value there too? I, 100%. Because of like, it just, because it's like a DNA key code. It just, it, your body understands it. So that's why, that's why I came up with the goat's milk. 
Got it. Was because mm. it's something that our body understands. Because you said it's the it's the closest you needed fat milk you right? can get to the humans. Human. Right? Yes. Is that that right? That's pretty. Okay. Yeah. Because cow is just that just doesn't make sense, and it was bad for her. It didn't work for her. You know, yeah. Sicker. Yeah. So. Uh, Fuck! What a oh, trip milk. to have to even figure out though. Like. Yeah. I, I mean, like you'll do anything at that point, right? Like you're just you're trying to save your your. She was that was my little spouse. buddy, dude. Yeah, you know, you know she I mean? we weren't like, married at the time, but um, at that point, um, it's your best friend. It was my best homie. We yeah. surfed every day together. We nice. we lived like I've known her uh, since we were teenagers. You know, oh, we grew man, up on that's, the same street together. Like, oh, what a story! Dope. What yeah. the hell? That's and you dope. saved her life with this stuff, yeah. man. Yeah, well, that's crazy. that's that's yeah. fucking amazing. Like you that's ever, that's like actually amazing. Well, I'll tell you what, you want a chick to really like stick on your side. You know, do some shit like this, man. I don't ever have to worry about that chick ever again. Like, <laughs> like, I, 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 I'm solid. Like she, like yeah, tell, you're, she's like, holding she, you down. She's holding me down sure, I got bro. that one for sure. For sure, it's a holding nice, you it's down. a nice feeling. Man, you grow weed with you? Oh yeah, she's did all. So we make seeds, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, she works with you now. She does everything. No, so, nice. yeah, she did all these. As you were telling me, she did the graphic. Yeah, she all does the graphics, whoa. graphic design. Whoa. When Fire. we first started dating, she was a graphic design in a, a student. You know, at a <laughs> yeah. at a school. And so she graduated uh, graphic design school. And so she does all this stuff. So, so you are both born and raised in SoCal? Stay here in yeah. SoCal? Nice. Yeah, she, nice. So I moved. Um, yeah. Yeah. I love that. It was, it was pretty cool. We, we both ended up on the same street. How crazy. And, and she was a little bit younger than me. So I remember like going to school and I see this cute little cheerleader. She was a little cheerleader. And she's all cute. And I'm like, dude, she's too young. I can't even talk to her. And I was just, I was just like, I don't want to be seen talking to her. You know what I mean? I'm not that guy, you know? So I'm like, I like, I didn't even talk to her for like a year. And then finally, like one of my friends introduced me and I was like, you know, and we were just friends. We were friends until like we were older. Yeah. You know, but what a, what a crazy thing though. You live on the same street. Like, like me and my wife were born in the same hospital three years ago. What apart. the oh, hell? That's, that's yeah, cool. We're just like, well, it's kind of trippy. That is crazy. Yeah, when, when we found that out, we're like, ah, that's, that's pretty wild. Like, it's what just a, some SoCal love over yeah, here. Yeah, just huh? what a random, there's just so many people, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, there is. It's, it's dude, it's like, what are the odds of that? Like, that's fucking So are you crazy. both SoCal guys? Uh, no, no, I'm SoCal, yeah, born and raised in San Fernando uh, Valley, but okay. my, my man's I'm from not, Texas. I'm, I'm a Texas, Texas kind of nice. guy, Don't yeah. Uh, I was born in Austin, but I was uh, grew up in San Antonio okay. for the most part. They really hate Californians, don't they? Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's like it depends. Now, now, like it now depends. they do. Now, they're just really now right. they do because there's like so many always, coming over and they're like, go back. Like, hey, you stay over there now, yeah, brother. Yeah. I really wanted to go to Austin. I've always wanted to go to Austin. And uh, now I'm just, there are people like, yeah, just stay there. Stay in California. <laughs> That's I'm what like, they say. Austin's now, yeah. like a mini, <laughs> mini California, though, now. Like right? a, lot, a lot of people moved there. Yeah. Like a lot a mini, of California individuals took like over Austin. Yeah. All the locals yeah. say it's a mini LA. They yeah. Well, LA is a shithole. So hopefully it's better than LA. LA is. LA is, dude. I drive through LA way too often now and it is I'm original nice. 213 I mean that's straight up I'm original 213 that's where nice. I was born and uh and yeah it is no not nice no. I have to smoke <laughs> I gotta smoke a lot of hash rosin to, to, to get through it, those areas. it's true yeah. it's true I mean it I, smells like you get into LA like literally within like a 10 mile radius it smells like piss I'm not even weed, joking though. it's got the best weed huh? it's got good weed sure I don't know it's got the, the best weed I don't no, know no bias I feel like or there's maybe bias. Well, you know what? I'm an Orange today. County guy. Okay. So like I'm like my, my so Orange general, County. I yeah, yeah. SoCal I weed. I feel but like Orange County. I feel like I mean I know there's some bomb weed now. There's bomb weed though everywhere. Yeah. See yeah. the thing is, it's just knowing the pockets. There, you mm. can buy this now. Right. And with this, anyone anywhere can grow fucking great weed. And but the problem is, is access. And do you know who's got it? There's more access in SoCal. Like you're more yes. likely to find good weed in SoCal yes. because yeah, yeah. it's just like, hey, I got good weed. <laughs> the dude in Arkansas is like, yeah, shut the fuck up. Bro. He's so tired. He's, he's, so he's got quiet. a fucking four letter that's throwing down some banging ass yeah, fire. Yeah. So I've Can't always been it. curious about this. Um, and I want to ask you personally, because I feel like you're the person to know, what role does genetics play in how good the weed is? Like the final product. Can you get a good weed from bad genetics in general? Or is it just impossible? Oh, it's interesting. impossible. Interesting. It's impossible. I mean, truly like, I mean, there's... There, is, there are bad genetics. I mean, right. there are just terrible genetics. And no matter how good you grow or how good of a grower you are, it's just not going to Truly. Happen. And, you know, that's, that was the whole idea between California Seed Bank. We're, you know, you know, forged California Seed Bank was getting the very best genetics out to people. Mm -hmm. So I, and I, 
I remember being on the boards and I remember this old dude was on the boards, you know, it was like the overgrow.com back in the day. Mm -hmm. When you say the boards, you mean like the forums? The forums, I guess. I yeah, did, we got a lot, of, did a lot of new internet folks out <laughs> so, They're like, what the fuck are the boards, so dude? Do you play basketball? Days, <laughs> yeah, we go to the boards. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, in the forum days, I guess, yeah, the forum days uh, was a time back in the early 2000s where... Um, all of this, it's a really great group of growers and people um, who are all now company owners. And, and you know, yeah, that's what's really trippy. You know, but it was this group that was there and they were all talking together and collaborating and, and asking questions and just being out there. So yeah. it was back in there, back in those days in the boards. Um, I remember this on the forum, they're, they're specifically on uh, IC Mag. This was IC Mag. I remember this guy in Florida and, you know, he's an old dude and he's trying to grow some weed. and. He bought some seeds off somebody and uh, they were shit. <laughs> and so this old man was trying to grow weed for his wife. You know, his wife was sick and he, he was just over it. He was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm done. Well, he's probably thinking, man, I'm, I'm a failure at this. I'm terrible. I can't do it. 100%. Fuck. And it, just, mm -hmm. it, it, was the, it was the fucking. It was the genetics. Damn. Mm -hmm. And I see, you know, and, and I, I'm not going to, you know, drop names. I'm not going to, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, crop king, or you know, I'm not gonna say any of those. Things. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. You know, any of those <laughs> shitty genetic companies. I'm not gonna do that. But you know, um, they're terrible. Yeah, and they're they're messing with people's lives. And so yeah. yes, 100. percent There's no way to get anything good from those shitty genetics. There's mm -hmm. just not. And they're out there shilling all these people out of their money and their time That's and their the, effort. That's the money because seeds aren't cheap. Dude, yeah, that like, guy. I think seeds about, aren't cheap, dude. No, like good. And genetic, time, and if they're selling them as good genetics and they're really dog shit, then that time, all that time and all effort that months, you put, that months, care, yeah. like your heart, you put this heart into this thing, and you get some shit. Like, I'm sorry, but European genetic, you know, some shitty European genetics that are boof. And now, like breeders in Europe, is that what you mean? You know, you what? I, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say breeders in no. Because like, what, is, sure what, what do you mean good, European? Like from European, like the strains that originated there? Um, there's just a lot of, you know, genetics. For, so from my understanding is that a lot of the California genetics went to Holland. Right. Okay. Mm. And then that's where the genetics program really began. God it was from, okay. You know, um, mm. and they were just watered down over time. It just They've became been watered down. It just mm. became weaker. So, you know, a, and so maybe bad breeding practices or something like that. And, but I mean, it, Brad, be it bad breeding practices by other people. Correct. Mm. So there was, so there's the original guys, Yep. you know, um, Soma, and, you know, THC seeds, uh, you know, Adam Dunn, the, the guys. And these guys were doing it the correct way. They were but doing it the right way. Someone got weed. Someone got. They got some shitty weed. And then. Yep. And then now. There you go. And so then they have Crop King seeds everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and like those guys have like five different companies trying to shill people mm -hmm. on five different levels. Just like, oh, you're buying something else. But it's just all about SEO and getting themselves in front of people and just ripping people off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what we're about is getting where you buy one pack of seeds. Mm -hmm. And you're going to find something if like my favorite thing to tell people is you're going to find multiple keepers. You mm. know, the biggest problem wow. that you're going to have is you're going to not how do I, how do I decide? <laughs> how do I decide which one to get rid of? Nice, uh, that's, nice. And that's like, that's an, <clears throat> a big claim because I, yeah. I mean, like I've, I, I know people that have sold bags of seeds where I'm like, man, I hope I get anything from this. Right. I hope these aren't that's, fucking all like, Hermes or some shit. 100%. Like, fuck, dude. 100%. Did I just waste three hundred dollars? One hundred percent. Shit. And we don't do the three hundred dollar packs. We do hundred dollar packs. That's know? awesome. We hook everybody yeah. up. Hundred bucks. Yeah, hundred. bucks. That's pretty fair. Yeah. And with ten seed. Yeah, yeah like no. I how many are in there? We're more like twelve seeds. Twelve. Okay. Thirteen seeds. Sometimes yeah. it's fifteen seeds. You guys are awesome. Yeah, and sometimes yeah. we'll just stack a whole thing filled. So like you might get one that's like thirty seeds. You're like, what's up? Yeah. You're just like, you're <laughs> the just little, like a little little special. Yeah, prize. a little lucky bonus. That's kind of fire. <laughs> yeah. So on the flip side, is really are really good genetics almost like a handicap? Or like, would you say it's? No, it's a necessity. Oh, okay, got you, got you. Well, like, can, head, no, 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 can like anybody way. grow like, it? Is it? Aid rather, like if you have really good genetics, is it easier to grow, or is it still 100%. just difficult? Okay, it is. Easier. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's gonna come out. So like I've had well, like with my my OG back in the day, like I remember one like in the old days we would have rooms that would be like like you'd only go service once a week. <laughs> That's mm. awesome. So we would have these flood and drain tables that were in these rooms. You would just go. And I remember I had one that was specifically like every seven days. Usually you're supposed to pop in there and check, you know, make sure it's not on fire. But, you know, <laughs> I, I remember like usually, you know, I, I open up the door and I'm just like, uh, 
Uh, oh, we're good. Ah, they know, look we're good. amazing. Nice. And then, uh, but someone went in there. It was at some house. Was, they were always at someone's house. And someone yeah. went in there and someone got uh, spider mites in there, right? Love that. So I go in there after a week of not being in there and oh. everything's encased in webs. Oh yeah, there oh. was. And I'm like, oh my God, like this is like terrible. Like it's like worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. <laughs> like holy fuck. And then like some drought happened one time because like it, it got warm. So then it, like it drank a bunch of water. So it didn't like, it didn't go all the way back. It didn't dry all the way back, but it yeah, dried up it was a little bit. A little bit. Enough a little to, droopy. To, yeah, let's And to so like everything him. bad happened to that stuff. And that shit came out so fire. Didn't and I matter. remember some like up, like some Northern California growers were there. And I said, man, I said, he's, I was telling about the OG. And I said, well, I have some stuff that, that everything went wrong on. <laughs> I said, you know, like it's absolutely everything went wrong on it. And I showed him, he's like, he's like, dude, this is fire. Everything went right. He's like, we're fucking smoking this right now. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, like I love spider man And these pet. guys were like giant, you know, hundred acre, you know, yeah, 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 you yeah. Know, big guys. Yeah. So they knew what they were talking they about. They knew what they were talking about. Yeah. Mm. Was, I went, oh. So some stuff is just, is just hardy. Just resist. It's, it's going to make it's, it. It's going to make it. It's going to. So Eric can't kill a couple of these. Plants <laughs> next time. We're going to get you some <laughs> of this OG. Huh? <laughs> so as, uh, in your mind, or I guess objectively rather, what makes a good genetic? Like what Ooh. makes a good versus a bad genetic? Oh, the basis of where it all starts from, you know? So it's like intent, man. Wow. Um, okay. You know, it's intent. I'm trying to make people better. Mm -hmm. And so um, I started. That's super deep. That's right why off the bat. I that's why I, I teamed up with. Uh, I, I I worked with Skunk House for seven years. Okay. And uh, we're kind of like known as West uh, Skunk House West Coast, but really we're just California Seed Bank. Yeah. But that's why I worked with them is because they had a very good base. So their stuff was coming out like I when I was first selling seeds, I would get complaints from all different all the different breeders that I would you know sell seeds for. You know, they'd be, oh, I don't like that. It hermed or it does this or it does that. Okay. I wouldn't get any complaints. You know, and really we were kind of partnered up at first because of that whole thing. It was like, he made just quality genetics. That you could stand behind. Yeah, like I stand Like, behind. I know these are going to fucking right. rock. Don't worry. I right. got you. Right. And that, so that, that's, that was something that you, That you spoke know. to me. Yeah. And so he asked me to join the team. You know, I was, I was already going to make seeds underneath the California Sea Bank label and start dropping them at that time. And he said, well, you know what? Why don't you come and, you know, you're already half a hey, skunk house. Let's you, do our thing. Why don't you do that? That's amazing. Yeah. Mm, shit. So, so intent it's behind in, the genetics, that's, truly. that's like the, the, the most important thing that you Right. Can, because you're going to find the, the most <clears throat> stable genetic that has the most potency and has the most things that are going to translate to, translate to the next person. Yeah. You know, like yeah. When they, okay. Or the next, or whatever you're going to put it into. <clears throat> so like all the different mm. strains that we brought you, like they're all, um, very, very specific genetics okay. that will give off very specific traits. Really? It's like the banana coffee. It smells like chocolate and coffee that was and a, bananas. Mm -hmm. The weirdest mm -hmm. strain name I've looked at in a while. And I was like, what the coffee. fuck is like, that? I, I was like, yeah, I, give me some of that banana coffee. Like, like I grew that and it's literally smells like chocolate and bananas and coffee. So it's, wild. Yeah. That's so fucking and It's got wild. like a really like great up, like, like get to work kind of buzz. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's, do, do you, right now, you said that you used to rip. focus. Yeah, rip. Oh, what would geez, you like to rip? Do it. You going to try uh, some of this flower that you yeah, picked up at a park Maybe. or something like that from a sketchy dude? <laughs> <laughs> it's my so kind of weed. So nuts. Yeah, this is, a Dunkin Donuts, this, is, right? this, yeah. is, this is Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> so uh, it was so funny because I called, I called one of my buddies and uh, Jackson, shout out to Jackson. I call it Jackson and I, he's, he's like one of the, I, actually I called a couple other people. They didn't have any weed ready. Um, like what the fuck? I, I called, <laughs> well, I, actually, I'll say I'll, I called SoCal Dank. He didn't have anything um, other than lemon cherry gelato. Boo! Uh, ready for <laughs> Boo! So, get it out of here! <laughs> and so, um, and so, uh, I called up my buddy Jackson because he's always got the best weed, and he's like, "Dude, I've been out of it for a year." He what said, the fuck? Seriously, he's like, but he's like, I'm gonna hook you up with one of my buddies. So this was literally a Damn, brand this is new like guy. Four people. Oh, nice. oh, you met a stranger. A stranger <laughs> at the classic at the Duncan parking lot by you did my house. Did a whole house. drug deal for us, Straight man. That's up. awesome. Yes, I yes. fucking love you. That's amazing. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, yeah, he did a whole drug deal for us. Not that he, you'd get in trouble out here in California for buying weed, but fuck. I was just gonna bring good weed, right? That's I was just so gonna bring awesome. Good I weed, love but that. he actually had one of my strains. So, what are the odds uh, of that? Yeah. Too? He's, he's like, like, yeah, I'm growing your like, shit anyways. Dude, right, I, got you. I love your shit. Yeah, so <laughs> like, I was um, probably stoked to sell you, sell you some weed. He, he was like, like, oh yeah. I tried to trade him seeds. I'm like, will you, do you want to trade some he's seeds? He's like, no, take, he's take like, this just, weed. 
No, he did not take the weed. He wanted, no? No, I had to buy that weed. Oh, no. <laughs> he wouldn't take the seeds? He did not take what the seeds. What a seed. psycho, dude. <laughs> I would have taken the seeds. Know, yeah, that's like, crazy. The know, seeds are crazy. He, he was he's a cultivator me, too? He, no, because he pops tons of seeds. Oh, okay. And, and so he's like, oh, I got a bunch of seeds. I'm like, I know, but they just ripped you off. He told me how these guys <laughs> just ripped You're them off. you from the guy. I'm, got, like, I'm like, yeah, I got I you. I am literally the guy Just go and put 200 on my books, bro. I got you. Like, he's like, I need that 200. I'm like, and you're like, right. you, <laughs> you <laughs> fucking you're son of a weird. bitch. <laughs> Seriously. I gave but, you those seeds. That's, <laughs> that's my genetic. Is, okay. is it just trial and error? Is there any way to tell if it's a bad genetic right off the rip? Or do you have to go Oh, away? man. You know. Oh, that's a good. Um, is there any like You signs? have to test yeah. it. I mean, you have to test yeah, it no matter like, what. But You got to like, grow it to finish. But some of the stuff that we've done, you know, um, some of the strains that I've made, I know we're going to be good. You know, I, there's no way they weren't going to come out good. There's really? just no way because the genetics I'm putting in there is fucking Oh, no. because the genetics mm. prior. There's just because no you already way. had good intent right. on those. Right. So now you're taking two right. stable, yeah, amazing I've not seen anything. Let's that I've, ride. I've never seen anything I've done Wait, like that. What? <laughs> what did you say? So the parents are sexy, the kids getting <laughs> sexy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that's why all the beach towns got all the beautiful wind, but I mean. I mean, one plus one generally equals two, right? <laughs> I mean, that's where we're at. <laughs> Man, that's that's uh, so I was trying to my, tell my nephew, so like, just go hang out in Laguna. Just, just go. Anyway. I, was, I just, just, just did a photo shoot at Victoria Beach last night with my wife. Oh, really? Yeah, awesome. a little maternity shoot. So well, it, was, it was a good time. Incredible. Yeah, Laguna Beach, man. It's a great area. I like to hang out there. I bet. Good time. I yeah, love Eric, Laguna. you hanging out there with the, with the new Corvette would be a oh, good time. It would be a good time. A great time. You got a new Corvette? I did. I oh. did. What year? Uh, 23. Really? Yeah, yeah. What color? Uh, it's gray. That's nice. Oh, nice. thank you. Thank it's, you. It's, I love that. It's shit. nice. It's pretty nice. It's, it's nice. pretty nice. It's so I'm gonna gr- bring it by the beach. Oh, hey, yeah, look, yo, you, you definitely should just ride down PCH. The Oops, that sweet. was all I did, dude, yeah. growing up. So <laughs> whoa. That's so dope. We're bro. not even moving. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're gonna miss the light. Yeah, good. <laughs> good. Good. No, you just need a you need you need now you need uh the original two life crew album. Oh, oh, you can fuck. Oh. Yo, dude, you're getting aggressive. I like yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you bump that shit going up PCH, bro. You be living my childhood, bro. I'm not even joking. My dad, my that dad. That was the best album I, he could have ever I, mentioned. Right? Dude. I'm that's sorry, so, bro. That's so aggressive. <laughs> that's dude, such an aggressive Growing album. up, I grew up with Corvettes. My my dad was my dad raced anything with a motor. Love that. Anything nice. with a motor, awesome. whether it was a boat or motorcycles or cars, dune buggies, whatever it was. That's the big car guy right here, know? man. And so he had 17 different Corvettes growing up. Damn. What the fuck? And I mean, he'd put, he would take. He Yo, took Eric, one, you get 16 incredible. to go, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. You need to hurry up, bro. But cruising down PCH. <laughs> yeah. Listen to live crew in my dad's vet. That was it, bro. He was, yo, can you, can you just, peaks. can you Those just fucking peek and it. just hit that up one time? <laughs> can you give now. us a video on your that's second channel? Peak. That yeah, needs yeah, to be a video on the incredible. second we, channel for we, sure. We need to do Corvette, that. PCH, yeah. Yeah. two live crew. I'm <laughs> coming over. We're going for a ride. Let's Dude, do it. Brett's Man, bringing the it. I'm down. <laughs> God oh, damn it. That's good. All right. I'm heating this up. So let's take it back. Let's take it all the way back. You've been growing weed for a while, but when did you first, I guess, find the plant? Or when did the plant find you? I feel like that's when most people kind of describe it. Yeah. So like, like when I started growing? Uh, when you first started yeah. smoking, I imagine. So when first. I started smoking, I was, dude, I don't even want to, can, can I, I might get, do I, will I get arrested? I don't know. Nah, seven so, years. Nah. Seven years is okay. a little. So I was some decades ago. Jurisdiction or whatever I was legit. Got. Jurisdiction. <laughs> it's seven years. You can say I, whatever you want. I was so <laughs> young, dude. I, I was like. I don't think the word's jurisdiction though. What something. is it? I had these like <laughs> old, another word. older cousins. I had this older cousins and we were hanging out with them. And, uh, and then one of their friends was older. So I mean, these guys were like, I was like 10. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, seriously, I was like 10. Holy shit. And, and that I, might be a record. I don't think I've heard anybody yeah, say 10. 10 and, and these guys were like, you know, like 18 and 16. Oh, right? like, let's, let's, let's get this little kid <laughs> on. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, how did that even? And I'm like, I kept telling him, like, just blow it in my face. Blow it in my face. Come on. And so they, and they, he, they, then one of the cousins was like, dude, just fucking hit it. Just, what are you doing? You know? Quick break in the action for a sponsor. <clears throat> Quick break in the action for the sponsor of today's episode, Express VPN. I'm sure you've heard by now that you need a VPN to be browsing securely, safely. There's 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 bad internet. There's bad internet players out there. You know what I mean? Trying to get your data, trying to get your information, trying to get bad stuff from you, man. And there's also some other benefits. Okay, if on top of being safe, you can also use a VPN to maybe save a couple bucks on a subscription fee, or maybe uh, spoof your location and gain access to some other shows 
shows or movies on another subscription service. You know, like Netflix, you can only watch some movies in Canada or some movies in Germany or whatever, which is kind of ridiculous. So you do a little VPN and then boom, you get access to full catalogs and that's every single app right there, man. I've personally used it for some, uh, we won't say out loud things, but I was safe while doing it. They didn't get my data. I wasn't getting any crazy viruses. You know, sometimes you get the pop-up, it's like they're local, they're near you, they want to fucking find you and smash. So you click it and then you get a virus. Hey, VPNs, you'll you stay safe, man. You'll stay safe. You'll be okay, man. In fact, we have a discount code for you. You can go to expressvpn.com slash Pine Park. That's P-I-N-E-P-A-R-K, ExpressVPN. <clears throat> and you can get yourself extra three months of ExpressVPN for free, for absolutely free. That is expressvpn.com slash Pine Park, baby. We got a break in the action to uh, thank one of our sponsors of today's episode, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Um, we, they also know what we want when it comes to food options that, you know, sometimes it gets boring eating the same chicken and rice, chicken and rice. They have 40 unique recipes that you can choose from to make sure you keep it fresh so you're not just getting bored of eating the same thing over and over. You know, sometimes you need to eat dinner fast and you're like, ah, maybe I need to, to order delivery and maybe I need to go to fast food. HelloFresh is, is often faster than both of those options and it's 25% cheaper. Did you guys also know that HelloFresh doesn't just have amazing dinners and meals? They also have brand new HelloFresh Market where they have a variety of snacks that you can choose from. Over a hundred different unique options that can fill the in-between spaces between meals. With HelloFresh, I've, I've actually used this product many times. Uh, me and my wife love it because, you know, like I mentioned earlier, it just provides kind of like a spice up, a mix up of what we're eating. We're not just eating the same thing regularly. Um, they have a really, really good selection of different meats in there. The quality I thought was extremely good. I was impressed by it. Uh, my wife seemed to really enjoy it. Every time we've used HelloFresh, it's been quick, easy, and uh, just super fun to make because you get to cook the food together. It's, it's a good time. So, uh, And make sure to go to HelloFresh.com slash Pine Park 50 to save yourself a, a little money on your order from HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. The fishy thing. <laughs> a little break in the action for our friends over at Sesh Case, man. One of the best portable solutions if you're going to be taking Bud around with you. We carry it with us on the munch whenever we're traveling around the city trying to find the best places to eat. This thing has everything that you need, bro. You got a nice little rolling tray right here. You got compartments for your cannabis goods. But even if you don't have that much flour, maybe you can take it out, put a couple jars of good hash in there. You got a little spot for papers, tips, accessories right there. Pretty much everything you need. It's got this little lock on the front and it's it is portable, man. Is this portable? You can carry, I don't know, I don't want to say a specific amount in here, but you can carry a good amount of goods in here, right? Maybe if you're traveling for a weekend even, this is small, portable, gets everything you need, and you can get a discount using our code, the Munch 15 We told you guys we use it on the Munch. We've got a discount code for you. That is, again, that's code the Munch 15 You get 15% off at seshlife.com. Get yourself a little sesh case, man. Fucking blow oh. your fucking face. <laughs> oh my god. But I didn't god. get high. Oh my I don't, god. I never felt high. You know what? A couple people have said that we're like yeah, the, the first, first time. time they smoked yeah. weed, they didn't get high. Yeah. I don't I don't know if I I feel like I was high. Ooh. But I, maybe I didn't know what high was. You remember all the way back then to me. So I mean I <laughs> <laughs> try to block those memories out. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, block you don't have any hemp twine, do you, by chance? Hemp twine, yeah, like um, a hemp wick. Yeah, hemp oh, wick. for the bong yeah, type. I of totally vibe. forgot that today. Or maybe not. Oh. I don't think so, unless. Oh, does he just randomly in a corner wake. somewhere? Yes. There's no way, right? You are the man. Is, this, like is that what wake. it is? Yeah, Josefa is fucking with awesome. The with oh, the, sorry, sir. Thank with you, thank the, you. He's on a kind of a leash thing with right the there. Wind. <laughs> if he goes too far, he breaks stuff. <laughs> Look at dude. That's some nice thick stuff, too. Oh, jeez. Hey. Yeah. You know, I like, that, I like a thick that. wick, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you put up. some okay. rosin on there as well. Is that rosin on the bowl? So that's the full melt. Oh, okay, it's hash. Oh, what the nice. fuck? So we're going hash. Hold on, hold on. Du we gotta, we double gotta burger. Flip this around and show them what's Show the people. No, we're going to get high. Double Wait, burger, Double burger? Yeah. Are we in and out right now? What a burger? We got like, so that's like a... Like our, let's see. Yo, I'm oh my gosh, right yeah, what do we got in there? There's like, it's like, it's like such a mix. Oh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, I need it's to like see that. Yeah, so what like, the fuck did like, that come from, bro? <laughs> That's just been sitting there the whole time, I think. It's I, like I a didn't modified even punch. So it's like, there's a little punch in there uh, with the GMO, Donnie <laughs> Burger. And that's like the banana burger. Uh, it's got, we got, yeah, the modified banana. We got double burger in there. We got uh, Donnie Burger in there. Like all kinds of shit in there. Because I just, I like, 
Threw a bunch of stuff, just threw it all in one wash bag and washed it. I fucking miss my shit because I'm over here in a fucking trance right now. Yeah, can't what he said. He on. said I got the burger. What do you bro? guys smoke? I'm. I'm I, I have. Dude, you're really Bobby not, You're really not gonna drink. You're really oh, not I'm, gonna smoke oh, the paint I'm, thinner. I'm smoking paint thinner <laughs> really right not, now. Okay. I want to <laughs> smell the paint thinner first, though. Shit. All right, here we go. Yeah, he's got some great strain names, by the way. Oh, he's going in on this. You gotta teach me the hemp wick tick because mine always goes out. Get a, you see, oh, he's got a good flame oh, on yeah, his. Yeah, get a good flame yeah. in. Yeah, that's the flame. His flame is going crazy. This is some old school bong tech right here. Yeah, that's a, that's a good hash. Rip What's right up, there. dude? That was wow. some fucking. That was some shit right there. I agree. The <laughs> hash on there, I'd be fucking choking. Oh, dude, that was like so clean. <laughs> well, you know what I? But but I, was, I was fully organic, fully washed. See, I was talking to you hash. about this though. Was that all hash or just a little? Was no, that flour was hash tip? on the top and that was flour. Because so no till. You know, I was telling you about my nose yeah. thing with the, with the weed. No cough. Nothing this, with this. When this, I smelled it, like not even the slightest bit of itchy. But the, Ooh, and the hemp, Papa. the hemp wick. I'm telling you that compared to a lighter, trying to rip a, rip. He, with a you know what he uses? Uh, is a, I don't smoke too oh. much bongs, but he uses oh, that, no. that torch, that torch fucking lighter. What is that called? Is that all it is? It's like a special bong lighter or nothing. What what's, are, what are you going to do with that? Put on a bowl. Oh, okay, cool. I'm like, because it's a little, it's a little materially for like a, oh, a dab. dab yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll dab it. But. Oh, I'll dab it. We'll dab. I'm not scared. scared of, I'm not scared of it being <laughs> a little materially. We're two and then we're good. Uh, hot. Yes, sir. Oh. So is that, a, does that heat up? This does. Yeah. Have you, you not seen these? So that, no. Oh, okay. these are, these are nice. Ooh, yeah, so they're pretty cool. Puffco. I remember the Fire. original. These are nice. And it was called, I can't remember what it was called. But it was like the most dangerous way to take a dab or a, a rip ever. You know, it was like oh, the hot, hot knife. Yeah, like with, when, when you, you heat them up. And it had, but no, no, it oh, had no, no, a no, cord. Have... You plugged it in, so it was a piece of porcelain or whatever, right on the end of it. And then you like would heat your bowl with it. But oh, if oh, you touched it, it left. Oh, a scar. you got fucked up. Yeah, oh, like a wand. Yeah. Oh, like this, a hot wand. I've seen this like isn't getting yeah, yeah, this yeah. isn't getting hot like that. Oh, okay, this mm -hmm. won't this won't burn you at all. Like it barely heats up enough so it melts off. Oh, that's cool. Like barely. That's what it so is. it's nice mm -hmm. for like the e rigs and you. stuff. So you, you it just you just heat it up and it falls oh, off. That's dope. So you okay. don't have to like wiggle so a fucking to dab tool it. in it's there or anything. Really just to, I got just you. so you're not fucking scraping a dab oh, to like an what asshole. What dude, smoke. That's what it's for. Oh, man. Thank you, sir. Right. Smoke, smoke the whole say. thing, dude. If you Literally. don't rip a gram <laughs> fucking bowl right now, you're a weenie. I was hoping we were gonna smoke like a lot of that today. Let's go. What the fuck? Oh, Sefo, you need a joint. So we're smoking burgers right now. Yeah, nice. dude, that was a great dude. Best guest right now. He's throwing nugs good in the crowd. Throw, good catch. <laughs> Comment if you if you caught that nug. Yeah, someone caught it. <laughs> Someone's in the comment. I caught it. <laughs> Damn! Imagine when the weeds like better. Yo, when, when you can packs. actually do that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, you guys so, want to win some. Fucking this is so great. This burger. is so fun hanging out. So I I have my little. I do a little live. I do a little live on my Instagram. Yeah, yeah. You were nice. showing me. I love that. How and often is that? I do them usually once a week or twice a week. I do sometimes Wednesday at four twenty and then Friday at four twenty. Nice. Uh, it's a four twenty yeah. kind of vibe. It I like is. It. It's one hundred percent. This is what we do. We we smoke and hang out. And that's it. Do you like talk like genetics or you talk? We talk a little bit genetics, okay. kind of. If it's someone asks about, a question. If somebody asks questions. You're like, fuck yeah. I'll yeah, answer. 100%. Okay. So I guess a lot of it is genetics. Actually, you're right. Uh, but, that's, it's, it's but it's people picking your brain and stuff, you know, which right. is awesome. Like know. the fact that people even have that access to, to an individual like you is, is pretty freaking cool. It's fun. Like, I, I dig it. Thanks, man. Like a lot of people, uh, it's... A lot of people would love to, to, you know, cultivate and stuff, but I think they're maybe like afraid or they think it's like super hard. And if they can just ask you some questions, right. maybe like they'll try it, you know, because right. like, Hey, it, maybe it's not that hard. No, I'm telling you that. It, and there's a lot of that. So I, I have a discord and I help a lot of people on the discord. Oh, like if they have questions. Yeah. I'm literally oh. on discord every day. Oh, no way. That's amazing. I love yeah. discord. Uh, I, it's pretty cool. My friend got me into it and it's been, it's been fun. I, I like to game. So, uh, what are you playing? I play COD. What's nice. up? You, I, do you hate it or love it? This this uh, I love one? it. Okay. What are you yeah. are you playing multiplayer? No. Or we play the, I play uh, the battle resurgence. Royale? Okay. Oh, resurgence. Okay. Yeah. I like to murder. He's like yeah. I like to murder. <laughs> I like to. It's yeah. Like, what's up? Domination. Kids, just know you're getting cooked by fucking Brett in the lobbies. <laughs> yeah. Just fucking know it. When you're upset, <laughs> he's ripping fire hash and cooking you. <laughs> cooking you. Microdosing, bro. dude. Microdosing slays gaming, bro. I'm not even joking. I, I like mushrooms. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Nice. Slays. We gaming. love our mushrooms yeah, over here. Mushrooms. And then yeah, dude. We I, like being on mushrooms on the show. Honestly, we've done that a bunch of times. That's my a great smoothie time. that I drank. Yeah. Oh, did that have mushrooms in it? 
My man, Ooh, yeah. Brett's out here. Go. I know you put the tie dye on for a reason. <laughs> that's Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so I, I COD man, COD. Yeah, is, call- <laughs> COD I love I love zooming out on that. But I, the funny thing is, like, I'll, I play with a bunch of kids, right? You know, in there, they're all kids. Oh yeah. And so they once they find out how old I am. Oh, they're talking shit? No, they love it. They're all oh, OG, OG. Oh, they also because that. my name's Respect OG, and they're like, oh, it's OG. Oh, is that your, is that yeah. your handle? Yeah. yeah. Nice. What do you <laughs> need? A lighter? Hot knife? Lighter? A lighter, please. There you go. Oh, thank you, thank you. So you started smoking real early, 10. When so, did you- uh, But I oh. really started smoking weed, like really started smoking when I was 13. Oh, okay. So, so the you. first time you I tried smoked, weed at 10. I tried right, weed at 10. 10. But 13, you were like an everyday? I started smoking pretty- Regularly, yeah. Oh, like, like, at least once a week type of and, thing. Oh, yeah. If not, yeah, multiple times <laughs> like, a week. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, no, we were getting stoned. Fuck! Yeah, we because then, uh, and as funny as this is, my brother sold weed. And so I started like, you know, then my friends wanted weed. So I started like giving them weed for my brother, right? Yeah, you're like, I got this. And like, so I just, he's like, all right, well, my drawer is right here with the weed in it. And uh, the scale's right there. So if they need it, you just, just scale it out. You know how to do and this. Then, yeah. You know how to Collect do this. The fucking money. Put the don't, money in the fucking drawer. Don't you know? fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Straight up. Easy. And so that was it. That That's was how my, you became a fucking <laughs> drug dealer. That, that, <laughs> <laughs> at Unknowingly. 13, yes. <laughs> Unknowingly. Truly. It, it's really, really it, man. Did you, uh, did he give you free weed because you would sell the weed? Oh, no. Or no. Would, like, I, and you then did I, the labor and still had to pay? Yes. <laughs> No, I, I mean, you know, I made the, I made whatever money or whatever. Oh, did you, you, you were able to tell I me mean, like, like, like $5. Charge, he would yeah, give me $5. Dollars. No, okay. no. He would just tell me, you get to keep $5. You know? Okay. You're right. So it was like nice. $25. I got five. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah. I was hyped. That's not bad at all. I could buy my little dimer or well, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Totally. It's kind right. of, that's a, yeah. Yeah. I was it's kind of a sweet commission <laughs> deal. <laughs> Honestly, 20% is kind of a yeah. nice Shout commission. Shout out to Jordan. That's fucking fire. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. And then, and then, but you know, as, as a, a, a uh, business mind goes, you know, I, I bypassed him because I knew his source and I took, I took a paintball gun that I had and I took it to the weed dealer and I said, Hey man, give me a quarter pound of weed for the paintball gun. For the paintball gun. Yo, that is some fucking entrepreneur and, type shit. And that right was there. it. That's crazy. And that started me out. And that right put there. you on game. Yeah, your paintball I, gun. I remember, dude. Were you sad getting rid of your paintball gun? I wasn't, it was supposed to be commissioned. I mean, uh, not, uh, not commissioned um, uh, on, on uh, consignment. Oh, like, I'm so going to get my gun back. back. And I didn't. He knew they knew. They, <laughs> they, those guys got they that knew. gun. They were like, oh, yeah. Okay, They're like, kid. yeah, thanks. Thanks. Enjoy the weed. Yeah, enjoy the weed. Damn. But, and I remember him. I remember, like, I gave him the gun, and then I had to go meet them. Yeah. And it. I was so young. I was 13. You're like, they're going to rob me. <laughs> no, no, no. I knew the guys. They, oh, okay. They, they, and they knew my brothers. It was no, there was okay, no so way. It was cool. It was cool. But they, like, to come over to their house, some 13-year-old kid, like, we, like, we went, my other buddy was 14. And we like borrowed his mom's car. Oh shit! And drove over you mean there. Stole in his a mom's car. No, his mom. Fourteen. His mom would let fuck? him drive. It was crazy, oh, dude. That's the eighties like, were nuts. It's like, yeah, where are we? Nuts, dude. <laughs> and I'm telling you, Huntington Beach the in the eighties was was lit. That's so crazy. And, and, yeah, we're and, 13, 14, did I say lit? Took but, mom's yeah, car. Like they were stole it. And we were driving down the street, and they would, and he's like, "All right, we're gonna drive down the street at the same time." He's all, and then I'm going to throw it out the window in your Whoa, car. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm not, a drug dealer's dick. I'm not even joking, bro. We were just <laughs> like that. And literally, fuck? we just went, and he threw it into the car. Damn, what a good throw. throw. What a throw. Yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. Say, Tom Brady, <laughs> back incredible. in the day, what's up? <laughs> That's crazy. Throw. So that was the first, the first time I really uh, bought my own weed to sell. Man, what a fucking <laughs> story. That's probably the oh. coolest story I've ever fucking heard about buying my first weed. <laughs> yeah. I fucking <laughs> traded a paintball gun and then got a, a quarter pound thrown at me in a moving vehicle. That's amazing. <laughs> at 13 right. in, a, in a not stolen vehicle. <laughs> what the fuck? That's awesome. How'd you get the vehicle? Mom was cool with it. Mom was cool with it. Like, what? <laughs> you know, craziest because, shit ever Because right he there. handled stuff for his mom. You yeah, know he, I mean? got so, the, he runs some errands. He runs errands yeah, for his mom. Yeah, right, do, yeah. do the things. Oh, Bought man. the cigarettes. That's got the groceries. You know what I'm saying? Get the cigarettes. No, that ass. That people you used to go get, get the cigarettes. One hundred percent. Eighties for sure. Hundred percent, uh, dude. The liquor store, like right at our corner, was like. Uh, God, that's so funny. <laughs> was like, you could get whatever you wanted there. That whatever age you wanted. And so, <laughs> oh yeah, that I was mean, like we making money here. They finally got busted because they sold some ten year old kid like cigarettes. <laughs> like it was so. That's bad. an aggressive play. A- <laughs> Selling a ten year old cigarettes is like pretty <laughs> fucking aggressive. But you yeah. know, you know what he said. He was in there. He's like, oh, can, you know, my mom sent me in here, right? 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, that was the eighties. The eighties were, it was, you know, but they got busted like 90. Right. So now we're in the they 90s. They had 10 so. years of that shit though. Yeah. They was going crazy for 10 years. They oh, at like, least. Oh, since the fifties. The eighties were probably Kids could wild. buy cigarettes since the eighties. I mean, since the fifties, I'm sure. Yeah. We live in a soft ass time. The world is probably oh. wild back mm -hmm. in the day, man. Oh my God. In the eighties. I couldn't imagine, bro. Yeah. Motherfuckers was going crazy. Good time. So when did it go from, um, trapping to growing? Ooh. What was that transition like? Um, I mean, the first time we were just always dumb kids. So we were just, you know, like trying to like grow with like a, a light, like, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. like some like floor, like not even a fluorescent, like, like some like weird blue light, you know, like, oh, this is a blue light. This will grow weed. Really good. You're know, like a blue light bulb, you know, let's put that in the, you know, it's got like a kind of fluorescent, like a, a neon, you know, neon. Yeah, this might work. That's going to really give the hairs a good color. You don't know. And you're just. And it would never come out good. It would always, you know, and then your mom or someone's mom would probably, I never did it. I never got to do it at my house. I always, never got to do it at my house. You know, like <laughs> I knew for a fact, like my mom was so, like my mom could hear like a change in your breath. She'd be like, what are you getting excited about? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. like upstairs, you know, like, yeah, upstairs, what are you doing? She, she would know. Mom was hardcore. <clears throat> but so I was, there was nothing doing like that in that, in the house. But, um, so friends were always doing it, but, Cause you know, you'd have those hippie parents. Yeah. Know, they were friends. cool. Yeah. They're like, Oh, you're grown. You can't do that. And you know, <laughs> and just put it at, you know, you, you can't do that. You can't do <laughs> that. All soft. You guys are silly. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, yeah. So that wasn't happening in my house. So, so, so the first grows and stuff were at, were at friends where it you was just kind of experimenting, just yeah. throwing, kind of throwing anything yeah. at the wall. You're like, oh, let's try some shit. Yeah. But so, but the real, when I really started growing real weed, was I was selling weed for that family I was talking about earlier. Mm. And I was, had been such a good earner or, you know, respectful earner, always had my money on time and things. They, it was, that's how you got into growing weed. Like that's, that was like the next step. Like you sold enough weed and we respect you. It put you on. You can grow weed with us now. Damn, that's mm. crazy. You know, and, and everyone knew it. Like every, all the <laughs> hangers, you know, the hang, like people that hung there and yeah, like yeah. Were, were hang, you know, were close. Everyone knew that. So you had to, you had I was like, is it my time? Like, yeah, is it my time? time. Is yep. it, you know, can I, can I, come on, come on. You know, they, you go out to the family dinners, they'd all bunch of, and these guys were knuckleheads. These guys were all long hair, you know, <laughs> like just straight up knuckleheads. I keep hearing the family and I'm not gonna lie. I keep picturing like a bunch of dudes in suits. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's yeah. like, hey, no, so what no. are we going to do tonight? These were, these were, <laughs> no, not at all. These, I'm like, yo, holy shit. This was like crazy. a bunch of like skaters, surfers. <clears throat> I love it. Skaters and surfers, like guys that just look just like me, you know, except, you know, there's some buff dudes and of course. All but there was just a bunch, a bunch of guys that got together and uh, decided we're going we're gonna to grow, grow and sell yeah. some weed. Yeah. Do it the right so way. So one dude, the, the one dude kind of, uh, B, what's up B? Uh, one dude kind of put everybody on, man. He just, he would like teach everybody, you know, like bring this guy on, bring this guy on. That's and, amazing. Yeah. So he, he, uh. He helped, he, he helped make a lot of Christmases real good. Hey, nice. You know, back in the day. This helping, is, a, helping a family, man. That's what it's all. When you said a family, I, I, I'm i starting to picture it. That it day, it so. truly was. Like, no, it was, a, it was a good, it was a good vibe. Man. That's what they it's were, about. They were good people. And, uh, you know, nobody did anything stupid, man. It was all about just producing the very best weed. Yeah. So I could Pepsi challenge anybody. Hey. Like anybody. I'd be like, hey, Pepsi challenge? You want to go? You want to go right now? Right now. <laughs> they're like, fucking throw it and down. They're like, oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love that. So were you, were you just like cultivating whatever you guys got or is it like breeding genetics there too? No, was we didn't breed the, the at that. Well, it wasn't a, there was breeding that happened. There was or pollen chucking, I'd say. Okay. Um, but I mean, there was, you know, um, it's so like we took like a, an a AK 47 or no, no. What was that? Oh, it was the nine one one. So this was an old like strain. I guess they say it was from back East and like Michigan, mid Midwest, but it was brought to Huntington beach. So I always thought it was a Huntington beach thing. Okay. And so it was the nine one one and there was the Kevorkian. The Kevorkian. I've heard, so I've heard that the Dr. Kevorkian. We got a seed in, in one of the, in, you know, in some of the bags and we, Got a like a bag seed from like yeah, a pound or something. Yeah. Okay. And it actually one was like a male. Oh no way! So, you're so like, we, Fuck, what's we up? crossed that into the Kevorkian. Shit. And uh, 
So that was like our very first making seeds actual, but that was like, that was, that was like 93, 94. Wow. You know, that was, was before like, I was even you working with that like family. Like, I was, like, I was like a, working with those guys. Like a crude breeding type thing? Like oh, not up to your standards today by any means? No, no, it was fucking awesome. Really? Okay. Yeah, no, I wish I, God, I had those seeds. Really? Mm-hmm. I wish to so God I had amazing those seeds. And, and, and yeah. it was fire. I, I mean, seriously, truly, awesome. I wish to God I had those seeds right now. <clears> and like, I mean, you know, shout out to Kevorkian, dude's still out there. Um, and like, I, like, I think I bumped either. I bumped into him. Do I, I, do I know? I don't know. I know him, but like, he was like, yeah, I used to put that out. Like, so no, those, those specific, those specific strains were insane. Okay. Like bright the green. Oh man. The bright green, um, the flavor was insane. So yeah, the nine one one was exactly that you smoked it and you, you were fucking stoned. Like, so, so you, you, you kind of experienced before there was any medical and then yeah. you saw like 96 come around. Yeah. Prop 215. Yeah. How did that, like, did you guys start like, Oh shit, let's press the gas pedal down. Like, so at that time I wasn't working with those guys. I was just, I was just selling my own weed that I okay. would get through connections. I always just sold weed. I was kind of focused on getting to know whoever had the very best, you know, if, if I saw it coming from somewhere, mm-hmm. I'd, you know, I'd become friends with them or however it worked. You're like, yo, you this know. guy's got a fire bag. I'm pulling up. Yeah. How, how you are doing? you doing? Yeah. My name is Brent. <laughs> How's it going? It's 100%. <laughs> yo, that's, that's, that's the best. You know? I fucking love that. <laughs> and so, that, that, and, and it always came with me having, like I'd have good weed. So it always kind of translated. Like Pepsi Challenge? You know, <laughs> you know it, so it, it, it did. So that was a. Uh, okay. So it really, um. I'm sorry. Where were we? No, at? no. So like Prop 215. Oh, so Prop 215. That was, so, so you didn't start working with the family until, until the two, until about uh, 2000. 2000. Okay. So it was already rolling a little bit. Yes. You had four years into yes. to the medical game. So it was right. a medical, was it a medical grow? Did you guys try to follow the rules? Oh no. No. You were just like, let's go. <laughs> no, okay. no, 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 no. They were, no, this was, well, I mean, no. Like there was no like Absolutely doctor's not. recommendations and shit. Like not that at that for time. No, not yet. Okay. That was like something that like started to happen. Like I would say like 2002. Okay. Other than that, it was just straight. Just like, let's fucking throw some lights up and go ham. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. yeah. That's, really, how you, that's how you fucking Really do it. under the radar type stuff. Yeah. And well, and then now it's like the game has totally changed. Right. So now we got this fucking legal weed. Right. Which is, is prop 64. How is that like turned shit on its head oh, for you guys? Man? Cause I know it's, I'm not the biggest, I, I would love to just, so a time machine on go prop 215 all you day. Know, so how do you feel about all that stuff? I like, I hate 64, 100%. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I told everybody not to vote for it. I said vote no. And I, I lost sh- friends over it. I lost because I'm an old activist. Yep. So I'm from, you know, I have, you know, deep, deep roots in the activism. Jesus Christ, Eric. In the activism. Yes. Oh, the law. Oh, shit. Why didn't I tell you? See, that's where you're supposed to put the hash inside of the. Oh. oh, that's what I brought. The, the, oh, I'm we so can just, sorry. We can you better roll another, another one, one, brother. <laughs> no worries. We'll fix that yeah. problem real quick. Uh, so, anyways, uh, I'm sorry. Um, and those deep roots, uh, there, there were people that have been fighting this whole time and like losing members, losing people. And yeah, so they were, you know, some people were like, 64 is going to save us all. And I'm just like, Dude, you guys are, you know, and so they were like, did you read the law? Like yeah. they like, I got ostracized from like some yeah, people. Yeah, and I'm for like, sure. no, I could totally 64 see is, this is evil. It's not good. And they're, and they, the way they wrote it, they can change whatever they want, whenever they want. And, and they already, and they changed it immediately. Immediately. Like, like literally like almost instantly. Yeah. They're like, they're like, okay, okay. Now. Yep. Like they waited a few months and they were like, no, let the licenses go. Give us the money. And I was like, what the that fuck just happened with the five year program? Like 100%. what the fuck? So it's definitely, uh, you're not a fan then obviously no, of prop 64. No. So has I, it affected your business model? Has it affected how you sell seeds in California? Or um, like- no, I, I mean, not necessarily. We're no? all, we've okay. always stayed about the same. Okay. Um, and then the only thing that really changed was like the hemp bill, you know, that was, that really actually changed or the farm bill. Okay. So mm. that like helped us like give us a legitimate base. Okay. So it's not necessarily gray anymore. So you guys, do you guys oh, cool. operate yeah. in, in guidance of the farm bill with yeah. your, yes. your seeds? Yeah. So we have so, COAs of everything. Awesome. So they don't test, what is it? Point three or whatever. No, no they're a zero, they, zero, zero. So they're, they're allowed yeah. to be yeah. sold then right. because they don't have THC. Right. And what you do with it is what you do with it. Right. Is it sold as like a souvenir or? That's really what. Like what? You know, I mean, 
that's the that's what they you know yeah. that's what it is is yeah. souvenir true no totally in it I did this is a fucking dope souvenir if you ask right. me the fuck yeah. cool. seeds you can frame fucking them. cool keep dude them. Cool. frame them you know keep them if you want to uh, you know vacuum seal them put them in the fridge yeah you know and that's the best place to you know okay. to keep them sweet yeah no I'm 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 uh, I'm excited about these these are these are fucking cool. But definitely not excited about Prop 64. I know no. there's been some uh, some other legal cannabis laws in other states that I think have done a little bit better. But it's oh, just nice. it just nice. seems that that uh, it just wasn't done right here, and it seems like we're on like a weird path of there's no fixing it. Like it, it's, I mean, how, they're not going to fix it. There's too much money for them. I mean, uh, they're just not going to do it. And they're they they have a plan, man. They know. What, I mean, I, I mean, can I say that? No, I mean, are they, are they coming after me? No, yeah, you might want to cut that out. I don't know. <laughs> he'll cut out, and this is why we don't do it live. So whenever we get crazy, I'm, he's he'll handle that. Seriously, you dude, talk about like, whatever you want, though. But there's definitely like, like I think there's like a big tobacco, big pharma agenda with it. Where does are, is that like? Is it pushing all the boutiques? Yeah, yeah. So sorry. Uh, the boutique farms, the small farmers out to the point I where want, they can't participate. I mean, that's mm. totally what it is. Because like how I look at it is like they play the bleed race where it's like, Hey, who could bleed the longest? And they fucking got a lot of blood. Right. And that's money. Right. You know what I mean? 100%. So the motherfuckers can bleed. And then the, the product, I mean, it's just like, it's just like home Depot. When home Depot first started, they'd have really cool stuff at a lot of very, you know, specialized stuff. I do a lot of construction. So okay. nice. um, I'm always in there and, and what's happened is it's, it's become so. a, a, like the quality of their products is, and, and then they Go don't try to find a straight two by four. They don't have, I'm not even joking. Bro. <laughs> I'm not even, that's some dad shit to say, but go try to find a straight two by four. That is exactly some dad shit. My dad, like, my dad, crooked you better not Bro. bring a well, fucking wavy dog. What? I was like, what did you, did you fuck this thing? There's a piece like, of wood? Yes. Bro. <laughs> Bro, it'll be like this. It'll be like this. I'm like, yo, I'm trying to build some shit, dog. Like, y'all got me fucked up right now. And they're like twelve ninety nine. It'll fuck up your whole thing. Like twelve ninety nine for a two by four. Dude, us unstraight, dude, us unstraight piece of wood will make your job ten times. It'll fuck up more time. Just don't even yeah, do the job. Structure just, I'm gonna too, right? go find somewhere else. I yeah. can't. No, so I'll go to Home Depot when it comes 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 time to go do a a, a build. Yeah. I go to Home Depot and I I'll take off the whole thing and I'll go through there and I'll find the one. Yep. Damn I just thing. had to, I just had Boom. to fucking do this. I, I had to build like a finding frame. Finding backwood or something. Oh, dude! I literally yes, I, <laughs> bro. That's a great reference. It's like finding a backwood. There's like four shit ones and you get one good one. I swear wow. to God, it, bro. that's a great reference. Hey. Dude. The, there you go. Fucking nuts. <laughs> so you get it, kid. You get it. I had it. no idea. I had no idea Home Depot <laughs> was just went down in quality. Like when was the last this? time you've been to Home Depot? Probably. <laughs> I buy my zips at Home Depot, my bong cleaner. Oh, you buy your bong cleaner. You go there yeah, all the no time. No one do it. Every time I mention it, it sells out a little bit. <laughs> Yo, it's stop. Like a, like stop every time buying it. That yeah, shit it's sucks. Crazy. It's like a little shortage. Um, zips, degreaser. Really? Yeah, yeah. Best glass cleaner. Clean glass. Okay. Clean glass real well. Okay. But you have like to really rinse it, right? Industry cleaner. You have to yeah, really, yeah, yeah. really rinse it. Really rinse that shit. You still want to don't die. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Girl, I'm getting really high off this now. I'm like, my bong. Yeah, this bong's fucking ripping hard. This double burger you gave me is fucking really strong, man. It's the fucking zip. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Oh man, yeah, that's a nice joint right mm-hmm. there. I feel like the joint was needed. Yeah, you roll, hey, you roll a nice. The joint, joint was fucking hey, super. And it's made. burning. I appreciate fucking, it. It's burning nice too. It's I mean, the, it's yeah. This is the stranger's weed, right? The stranger's I'm weed. Judging I mean, it right now. But the person, the, the person genetics. that I got, uh, you know, uh, introduced him through is is uh, there's you know, he's an older dude than me. He's been. He was telling me a story we were talking about, and growing up. In the, in the eighties, his dog, his parents were such fucking hippies down in Laguna that his dog's name was cannabis. What? So, so his mom would it's be a all long the, name. Why not just like weed no, or yeah, something? Yeah, it's a <laughs> long name. His <laughs> mom would be told me, no, no, no. His mom would be out in the alleyway, cannabis in the morning. <laughs> cannabis <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> what the fuck? It's the longest dog name In Laguna, name ever. bro. He's all, he's all. I, I can went, totally see that in all, Laguna, though. He's all, we had this birthday party. He's all, I had all these friends over. He's all, and then he's all, and then the cannabis dog and everything. He's all, <laughs> I had no friends. Like, I had no, absolutely, I was not allowed to hang out with anybody. Oh, any no, their parents were like, get dude. the fuck away from that kid. <laughs> Shout out, Jackson, dude. Shout out to the hippie family. Dude. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, that's legends. Amazing. Cannabis. Legends. <laughs> that's the best. I love that it's like burned into your brain. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah you that. hear it. You can hear it. <laughs> you can hear it in her tone of voice and everything. <laughs> so I feel like there's like levels of the cannabis game that you've been through. You started as like a smoker and then you were a grower. 
do you do you graduate to like a geneticist or a breeder or like a the next level? Is that what that one is? I really you get feel, a little more into it. I, I feel like it's a something that you want to do. You mm-hmm. know, I feel like it's out of necessity. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, I think what you're, you know, probably what you're saying. I mean, I but I've I've seen like the first guy that got me into it truly, like he was trying to. I was trying to grow some weed to smoke some weed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he was like, dude, let's take this thing and cross it to that one. And I'm like, bro, you're going to fucking put seeds in that fucking weed, yeah, bro. Like, what the fuck are <laughs> you doing? Fuck you. Come I want to get high. I want to smoke that shit. Yeah. Like, no, 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 dude, we're doing this. I'm like, all right, all right. All right. Okay. You're like, mm-hmm. So, yeah, you know, so that was, he was in, you know, I think it really is a passion type thing. Mm-hmm. And so that was my first real, you know, dive into it. And then it, but then it came out of necessity. So okay, I, for me to have my own feeling of why I wanted to do it, yeah, it was out of necessity. So I had my OG and I wanted like a more sativa version of that OG. Okay. Cause my shit, I grew it to 70, 70 or 80 days and that shit would devastate people. And you're like, that shit would fuck you're people You're going to up. sleep, bitch. <laughs> 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 you're like what's up straight up bro i i i had one i had one detroit dude uh and, the, and i say detroit dude because anybody that knows any like real heavy like detroit like player style guy like he had all the colors he had the cool shoes yeah and he really looked good yeah you know he had the hat he had the glasses and he's talking shit just like the homies from detroit you know they talk like shit. Ain't shit i mean <laughs> straight up and my dad is from detroit so shout out to the big d and uh and well you might want to you might want to erase that part make shout out to yeah okay and so um yeah the dirty d and uh detroit leave that all in that was nice <laughs> and, and, and so <laughs> and um but uh and and so he's like oh so i heard you got the fucking about the bomb weed, huh? And kind of like, like straight up taunting me. I was like, I, yeah, I got some, I got some good, I, I got yeah. some good weed, yeah, you know? Pretty decent. And he was like, uh, I wasn't a boaster, you know? I mean, yeah. like, they, I mean, I'll Pepsi challenge you, but I'm not like going, <laughs> I you love know, it, dude. but I'm not going Pepsi fucking, challenge. you know, like, oh, I got the best weed. You know, he's, but this guy was calling me out and I was like, yeah, man, I got some good weed. Yeah. He's, I'm like, uh, he's all, do I want to smoke some? I'm like, all right, bro. I'm like, well, what are you doing today? And he was like, oh, yeah, right, right, yeah, right. I'm like, hey, you got any fucking plans? You don't got to pick your kids up in a few hours, do you, right? I'm straight up. <laughs> like, like, do you, what are you planning? He was like, like, just straight up looked at me like I was like a like asshole. <laughs> and I'm like. I feel like I, feel like I, might, I might say this. I'm like, if you said, hey, what are you doing today? If you smoked, I might be like, what do you, what do you, what's that fucking mean? Right. right. What do you mean right. by that? Right. Are you about to fucking drug me? <laughs> like, what does that mean? Dude, what are you doing? I'm like, not even what's joking, in that, dude. What's in that weed, bro? So I, I, we were at, we were at a, uh, so if you guys remember, I don't know if you, you guys are a little young. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Hot box vaporizers. Do you remember hot box vaporizers? Uh, the little, the little, little square yeah, boxes. The yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, cubes. Yeah. Um, I'm, 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 fucking old. God damn it. <laughs> you do. Eric's like, no, Eric's no like, idea I, was no like <laughs> he's like, I had no fucking clue. I looked at him. Never he's like, heard about it. He's he's like, like, he's like, I looked in his eye. He's like, I don't fucking know what that is. You, I was like, you God got, damn it. I do know what that you're is. All, you're all the cube. <laughs> yeah. All, I know. <laughs> but those things are great. You know, back in the day, they were, uh, my buddy Shaheen, uh, he, he, he's the sheener. Uh, he makes these great things. And he's, he was just a straight up fucking head, bro. He's, he's, he made, he made all kinds of cool, um, products and is and that what you smoked with the with the guy in Detroit the the OG that's what on? it was oh shit so, so not even so like a bong hit or nothing. no like okay no I ground up some fucking OG I set it there in front of the, so that's what I was telling you so in this dude in my buddy Shaheen's uh, shop he has one of the hot box vaporizers that's been on for like fifteen years he's our ten year however long his business has been open he's never just, turned it off he's never turned it off it just he's all this is. A that's testament a, to our company. That's some crazy shit. And right you there. could, and every one of his hot boxes were tested with weed. Those kids, he had a whole fucking, he had a whole fucking warehouse full of kids, and they he, they He's made two hundred of them. At the end of the day, someone had to sit there and test two hundred fucking with things. weed with weed. 
So he would give them the shake and he'd make these that people. That sounds illegal as hell. Oh, dude. He, <laughs> he was, dude. Hey, home. what are you doing for your job? Oh, Fuck bro. Testing weed devices. And, and he had like all the, he had all the old, like all the old, like young surf kids from Volcom kids. He had, it was a really cool crew of people. I love that. I love that. And so I grind it up, throw it up there. He goes over there, takes a whip. He sits down and he's just like. He just goes to sleep. <laughs> Yo. And he goes like this. He's like, he can barely talk. <laughs> he's like, bro, what do you do? We got, I got a, oh, what did you give me? I got a flight and it's like an hour. Oh. He starts talking about his flight, bro. Oh, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, bro. You're going to sleep, I told big you, boy. dude. I, I asked you, Damn. do you have anything important going on today? What was in that weed? A airplane flight would have been, you know, important. What was in that I fucking weed? Yeah, it, it, was just, it was an 80 day flowered. And I don't even think, it, I don't think it was the 90 day. God. I think it was the 80 day. It was all just amber, amber turks, trichomes. Just, yeah. There's not a tur goddamn yeah, milky left. No. I'm sure there were some milkies. Maybe. Because no, I took 80 it. 80 No, days. because I took it to 90. I took the OG to 90 one time. Trying to kill people. I was making medicine for my wife. There, that was the intent. Oh, so the, the mm -hmm. amber trichomes you think was really what helped? Like the late, the late I, I wanted some them? for, yeah. Because it, it made it stronger for sure. Made it stronger. Yeah. Damn. So I was just testing it out. You know, I was like, well, let's take it to 90. Let's do it 80. 90 days is wild. I always went 72 or over. 90 is so yeah. wild. I had flush for like three weeks. That just allow more things to mature on the plant. Well, so like yes. the trichome is going to go clear, milky, amber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the longer you go, it's going to go, it's going to go amber. Then they're going to explode. I mean, usually something. like oh, if you're, okay. when you're growing, you want about 10% amber. Okay. So that's the, what we were looking at in the grill, right? You were yep. The more, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the more amber it is, the, 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 the more sedative it's yeah. going to be. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. So he was going nice. 90 days. The motherfuckers was 90% amber. They were about as sedative as they could be. Bruh. So, so <laughs> yeah. So, sleep. <laughs> so again, uh, going back to that, so I needed a OG that was, so I, so going back to your question was, uh, you know, out of necessity, I needed something else in my stable that was like mixed with a sativa but i can't smoke some like the only thing that you could get back then were um you know most mostly like uh you know european genetics so i'd mm -hmm. go to like sensi seeds and i got like a sensi seed strain mm -hmm. and uh ended up uh crossing that into the og mm. you know so um Oh, that's the paint thinner. Is that paint what we're doing? Got my what? head spinning right now. Paint oh, does thinner. it? Oh, fuck, bro. So, I, was, I was wondering. I was like, why am I so fucking hungry? So, a, a little bit about these dudes. Yeah, what's uh, going on with those? SoCal Dank. Okay. This is a buddy, SoCal Tank and Knockout Farm. So, Matt and Joe, um, these guys are fucking doing it right. And they're, they have their traditional brand. Um, they're not in the rec market. Love that. Nice. Um, they, the, and this stuff is, they hunt. They create their own genetics. They hunt my genetics okay. uh, and other genetics as well. And then so they're, they're, they, they buy seeds and pop packs and stuff like that. Straight up. They've been doing that for like as long as I've known. I'm like, nice. Yeah. Joe, Joe and I have, have been, That's fucking uh, cool. have a long time uh, history of working together. Uh, we used to sell clones together. We used to go do like uh Kush Doc. Nice. Kush Doc. And what was the other And uh, high times we'd go up there and, and we'd all like, we'd, I'd have my California seed bank thing and, me and him would sell clones together yeah, and he'd bring thing. clones in. Fuck yeah, I love yeah, that. It was, dude, that's going back to what Prop 15 or two, two or six, what, a 64 fucked up. I mean, it was the ability for people to go and make a living. You could, you know. That's for damn sure. You could make some clones, you could make some cool strains and go to the Kush Dock and sell them mm -hmm. and, and go home. Yeah, and pay, <laughs> and pay your rent. Pay your rent. You know, pay your taxes, do what you got to do, yep. you know? And uh, yeah, I feel like more taxes might've been fucking collected there because like I, I had no problem paying taxes on the Prop 215. So dude, like, let's rock. Th that was it. It's a shamble trying to collect shift nowadays. You just got these distros fucking closing. Straight up, <laughs> straight <laughs> up, oh, well. straight up. And so that, that's why, you know, they don't even want to be a part of that. These guys. No, it's a nightmare. You know, and so, it's a nightmare out here. And, they, and as you smell the terps that they've, found in stuff that i've made not even just the terps like the the quality of Whoa, yeah. <clears throat> like there's some you can find some good hash and in, in the rec market like there's some good no, stuff yeah um but it's 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 harder to find good hash in the and dispensaries than it is for me to find good hash in the the, the traditional market well, like i can yeah. find them in both but mm -hmm. it is fucking harder for sure to mm -hmm. go into a dispensary and buy not even good a great hash it's right. harder for sure 100 but like 
like I can, I know fucking 10 different brands on the traditional market I can, right now. Right. Fire. Right. Mm-hmm. Eat. There's okay. nothing good in the, like, in the rec market. Yeah. Well, I find a couple good things. Okay. I find a couple. There's good some things. trilogy. Like some, Trill will do some, do some drops. Tr- Trilly has like, some stuff. I'm he'll, sorry. He'll do a couple I'm things. really, I'm so, uh, it's almost like being like anti-church or something. No, I know what you mean though, man. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. It's like, it, it's, I almost want there not to be, to be good right. stuff. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> traditional market, bitch. Like I'm yeah. on the same page with you. Um, yeah, but it's, it's, you know, there's, there's a couple of traditional brands that are, you know, trying to, trying to do a couple things. Yes, you they know? are. So and I, and there's, there's every now and then pistol whip. it's just, it's just harder. My boys at pistol whip. Pistol whip is, is great. Those guys are, those they do, guys are they amazing. They do great. And they're very, uh, consumer th- thoughtful with the, with the price. <laughs> yes. You know, like we carry them at our dispensary and it, it, they do a great job. So there's, you know, there's good stuff on the, on the rec market. It's just. It's not as accessible like this. You know what? Traditional and, stuff. And I'm, I'm really like, <clears throat> I'm really bitter right now. Okay. Because. Should we talk about it? We should. I like it. <laughs> so what happened was I, uh, I'm, you know, in, in between growth, right? I mean, okay. in between harvest. Okay. And uh, I went by a, a dispensary friend of mine. Yeah. And uh, gave me a bunch of different things. And. Uh, like this all sucks. I mean, horrible. <laughs> Like actually it was all horrible as fuck? Horrible. There wasn't one good thing. And I'm like. Was it concentrates? Flour? Was it everything? Flour. Okay. It was all flour. Flour. And like I have hash. So I didn't have to. Yeah. You know, I just need some flour though. Like let me get some, some good, good smoke, flour. dude. Yeah. Come on. And, and I, you know. Um, nothing? Nothing. So. Fuck. Um, and and, and he told good. me, he's like, you know, I didn't give you the, he's like, I didn't give you the sour OG for sour OG. Why not? For, for, I know. Why not, <laughs> asshole? He, he, it was from. Uh, what the fuck? That's, uh, I can't remember. He's like, I didn't give you that, but he's all. Uh, and, and, that, and that stuff was good. He, I ended, he ended up giving me some, but Save I was just one. really bitter about the all experience. this packaging and all this bullshit that people go and pay this money for this shit. And it's like old stale weed. True. Like, oh, True. like it's sad, bro. Yeah. Like that's a, so I'm a little bitter. And I, so I talk bad. I just say like, I'm all fuck the rec market. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, Facts. I'm I mean, just, that's how it is though. I mean, it's tough, but you there's, know? but there's wonderful guys. Mm-hmm. Wonderful there's, there, guys. There, there are people trying. I mean, specifically yeah. fucking pistol whip. Like those guys are fucking awesome. Great group of people. And they are, you know, the hardest workers. They're true. They, they do everything perfectly. They're, yeah, I no, mean, they're, their product yeah, but, speaks for themselves. I, I like smoking it. And, and then just I've them, smoked it a bunch of times, you know, just themselves. I mean, I guess that, and that's really what it, it who they are translates intent, through to right? their product. The, I, I, the I feel intent. like we, we could, we can boil it down to exactly what you, what you stated yeah. earlier in the show is that that intent is yeah. really what's driving it. And I feel like there's people in the rec market with good intent. Um, their money might be controlled by people with not good intent. Yes. And that, that makes it tough. Yes. That makes it tough. And I watched um, that with friends in the, in the rec market. It, it right is, now. it is tough, you know? So the rec market is an interesting place. There are great people there. There's great product there. Um, I'm, I am definitely tr- hoping that somehow we see more traditional brands find a way into it so that we can get some more really amazing hash in there too. Cause I like, I like seeing, I like seeing the trilogy drop. It's a right. good time. I like that. Right. It's a good time. Yeah. This is, this what is really we, good. What's all right. Nam- I'm firing it up. Nam- what is it? Nam- Nam- I'm Fire smoking that. Let's up. do it. Wait, well you got to try this, the sour cherries. I'll, I'm, Whoa, I'm not scared. Cherries. Eric, you rolling up something fancy over there? Uh, I'm just going to put the hash in it this time. I'm not going to forget. Here, I'll, I'll do you want me to get like warm it up? Big, no, oh, it, it'll yes, roll. Please. That'd be great. Are you going to roll into a little worm? Yeah. Oh shit. I mean, it's like, can you show the camera? Wormable. Oh, oh yeah. Oops. Imagine I just went in your eye, Eric. Oh my God. I'd eat it. That's smoke it. That's disgusting. (laughs) 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 All right. We'll put a big old chunker in there. Bruh. Holy shit. What are we doing right now? I need we to get, see the, we get high. The right. pinned comment. Sure. We did not smoke enough in this episode. So I can comment back to him. Fuck you. Yeah, we smoked <laughs> no. and we've been smoking. <laughs> does your wife shit. does your wife enjoy consuming like regularly or does she just do the fact for medicinal purposes? No, she well, no, we smoked before. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, we were just like stoner surfer, you nice. know, like yeah, yeah. she you know, we were just a that like your best friend to smoke weed with? 
Yeah. You're like fucking yeah, straight yeah. up. That's my homie, dude. That's like, I totally miss smoking weed with my wife. Uh, she's pregnant right now. Oh yeah. So mm. she's, she's not smoking right now. She chose not no. to smoke. And I'm like, God damn it. I can't wait till I can smoke weed with my wife again. <laughs> I'm like, this is bullshit. Dude, I'll be having like, I a, never knew how, how much I missed that. I was like, right. this is fucked, dude. Smoking alone. I like, I, yeah, that's the homie, dude. She's, we've been literally like, I mean, that's what we do. Bro, what the fuck is that? That's like the bro. Can that, does that, is that too big? Make nah, it leave it in long, there. Long, but you meet me for Maybe we half. just need to make it a little fatter. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. A little thicker. <laughs> yeah, come on. Let's get weird. No, man. We were, that's all we did, dude. We, we lived a pretty fun little life uh, when we were young in, the, in our 20s. We would just surf. You know, I sold a little weed. Mm. Um, kind of she a, was a She was a... Uh, uh, she went to school. She was a student. Okay. And then she like waited tables. And awesome. We just, and then we would surf every day. We would just be down at the beach surfing and fucking amazing. Cooking little burgers on the back of our Laguna truck. type vibe. Yeah, Laguna. Fucking Laguna, vibe. Dana Point. Um, In between that, that nice stretch Huntington of beach. beach type yeah, vibe. Seal Beach. Before there was no surf line. Okay. So you just drove. You would drive. We we're in Huntington, so you would drive to Seal Beach. Okay. And then you would just drive down the coast and, just and you would cruise. just check little spots. Yeah. And see where, see where it was. Sometimes vibing. you'd end up in San Diego. Fuck yeah. You know, who cares? That was a good, that was a good surf day. That's awesome. But that's when, you know what? Gas was 20 bucks to get to San Diego <laughs> all day. Like all day, dude. All day. Like, was traffic always bad? No. Oh, <laughs> got bad recently. I mean, it's, it's always been bad. There's no way it was but, as bad. But though. no, like it the wasn't. In the 80s, 90s? Yeah. No dude, you Getting to no. San Diego wasn't that bad. No. Like, I don't remember mm -hmm. sitting in traffic that long, even as a kid, like in the 90s. <laughs> right. like, like, I was born in 91, but like, I don't, I feel like traffic got really weird in like the 2000s. It mm -hmm. really did, dude. San Diego, like, I'll, 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 I don't know if that's true. Specifically, or not. San Diego. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember one time, like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go, you know, we're going to go down. Me, me and my wife like to go down there all the time. And, it was like maybe the first time that we had gone after she got sick or something. And, you know, we hadn't been on the road in a while and it was more into the two thousands. And we went down there and it was like, we ended up three hours in traffic. Oh. And I'm like, that's what it takes to get there now. Yeah. That's a normal trip to San Diego. That's intense. It's three hours. <clears throat> it's crazy. So now you have to either like go ultra early, Right. The sour yeah. cherries. Sour cherries. It's sour. I feel like I just ate some sour Skittles. That's how my mouth feels. You know, like the so after mouth know, feel. I don't know if I can tell the story behind that cut. All I can tell you is it's truly a $3 million cut, but we call it the $10 million cut. It's, it's, that's all. I'll, I don't, maybe when I come back on, cause I'm, I'm coming back. Three million and dollar cut. I'm gonna come back with some with some more because I got some stuff harvesting. This was just like I told you, I had to meet the guy. There's some Dunkin' Donuts weed, type shit in the parking know, lot. Yeah, Straight up, that Duncan. was just. You feel underprepared right now? I'm a little underprepared. You feel Duncan. light? I'm a little light. You know. I mean, I'm kind of impressed still. If this is what coming light means, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> because, if coming light means but, like here's a thousand dollars in genetics for the homies, <laughs> and then here's four jars of some of the best hash I've seen. Here's a fucking ounce of some fucking fire water hash. He's light. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you, What dude, does coming heavy listen, mean? I'm afraid. I, I love hooking people up, man. That's like this whole like seed things. Like everyone, like everyone that knows like me on discord or any of my customers or yeah. anybody. Now that I'm like, now that I'm in full control of my California seed bank, I don't have any partners other than my wife. So she's the only one, but she likes to give away things too. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> We just hook everybody up, man. And I mean, wherever we're at, we're at the skate park. We're giving away seeds. We're Dude, at the beach. We're doing how stash and dashes. How stoked would you be if you're yeah. fucking at a skate park and you get a bag of fucking seeds, oh. burger seeds? It's not yeah, not just like some fucking mids. Yeah, too. not just like, like yo guy from the seeds. guy, bro. <laughs> it it makes it puts out. a smile on your face. Fuck, you know? smile on my and, face. Well, I mean, me. It puts a smile. Oh on yeah, my face. your face might give me something. I else. get people that straight up smile somewhere else. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just. <laughs> Man, I just touched you too. Like I was like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, <laughs> oh man, that's good. <laughs> Fucking classic. God damn, I so, love weed. But no, I've had people like at the skate park be like, "Yeah, they're all you know, they're all what's in this could be like life changing, bro." That's what I'm saying. And I'm like, like, Thanks, start a guys. whole brand. Like you know, I. I do stash and dashes. Yeah. A lot. Oh, really? I love stash and dashes. I love them. Oh, that's fire. And uh, it, I love hooking people up like that. And 
because I was I was that broke kid. Yeah. That didn't have any money to buy a hundred dollar pack of seeds. Like mm-hmm. I was a broke adult that didn't have enough money to buy some seeds. So if you if you were had the chance to get a fucking free pack, free pack, fucking lit. Yeah. So now if you can generate that happiness, it's kind of you you can uh, relive a little bit of a little it, happiness. That's maybe. it, yeah. dude. Straight up. That's a vibe. I fuck with that. Yeah. I like that a lot, honestly. Like that's that's actually sick. Damn, we're about to smoke this thick ass joint now. Oh yeah, now God. we're about to get fucking nice. high. Yeah, with oh the hash in it. Lord, let's go. Dude. Oh my lord! Damn. You brought good genetics. You brought great tortillas. Where can people find you? And do you have anything you want people to know? Maybe about the the seed bank, or is there or a special coming up or something like that? People can can look forward to. Oh, I maybe think, a new I drop. We have a code. We do have a code. Oh, shit. There is a code I did for the Pine Park. No way. For Pine Park, yeah, yes. I think it's Pine Park 25. No way. Uh, yeah, I got you guys. That's amazing. A, a 25% off. I, Holy like, shit. It's up for like at least a month. Holy so. shit. At least a month. You guys got time, man. Start That's fire. out your grow with some great genetics, man. CaliforniaSeedBank.com. Mm-hmm. Code Pine Park 25. That's a quarter off your order. 25 bucks off 100. What are these, $100 packs? $75 for what, 12, 13? You might get a 30 pack juicer. Because they're crazy and they'd be throwing Juice Lord Supremes in there. They'd be do throwing Juice Lord Supremes, man. You're damn I'm popping right. a couple of these. What do you, uh, you have a recommendation if people are just hopping to the site? They got to get the burger, right? You got to get the burger. Got to get the burger. But there's Mikey Mike, uh, the Mike Larry stuff. Mikey if you like Mike. gelatos, um, or, and then we have that cross to a bunch of different candies and bunch of different stuff so there's all really what we do is mostly gas so hmm. we put gas on big gas so let's see i would say uh yeah i've got the tk burger that's up there right now the tk burger is a good one that's like kind of an ode to tk burger out uh-huh. in huntington beach yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Nice. because like whenever you go surf you go hit you know in the old day you go hit a tk burger Grab a burger yep fucking uh-huh. check the waves at tk and um so that's all, that. That would be one. That's kind of dope, actually. Yeah, that's, that's dope. actually that's fire as fuck. I didn't know that. that was, I like I mean, that's a great stuff with the story, genetic. man. Stuff with the story. Love, I love shit like that. That's mm. so cool. Yeah, sure. you already know. <clears throat> that's incredible, man. Hell yeah! Thank you so much, Brett, for coming on. You fucking all appreciate it, man. Dude, that's, hey, how, no that's, that's how you end an episode hey, right there. To, eating tortillas, to. baby. Yeah, come on, ending off on tortillas, starting off with genetics. What more can you ask? But yeah, hash in between. It's all about you know, just like we're from that surf culture. We're from surf, Southern California skateboarding and and uh cars and you know racing and fuck yeah um just just that whole you know that just southern so cal vibe, vibe. Yeah, you know, yeah yeah good herb mm-hmm. straight up good weed Let's so, go. gotta represent for and it amazing music True, good music good man. weed so. that's that's what that's what that's all you good can intent. ask for man good that's intent. all you can ask for anything to say to the people tim before we head out of here let us know in the comments what type of new concentrates, joints, edibles. What do you want to see? Pine mm. Park, man. You want to see just flour? You want to see some new things? You want to see seeds? I don't know what you want to see. You let us know in the comments, man. We'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go. See you in the next episode, everybody. Right on, guys. Peace. Have a good one.